undefeated in overtime Graffiti in your city with legacy, then you know it's mine If you got a bar you aspire to, then I wrote the line Buy yourself a drink when you celebrate and then hold the line Job not finished, man, they all talk different Comfortable trying to pretend that they something they isn't Is that one round proof something? I ain't gotta move nothing Wave my hand over the room and they fucking move from it Play tectonics, the mountain about to start running Rappers all lie like a movie somebody crowdfunded Drown from it, hustle say it's no days off Gorillas always tell you hard work Welcome back to Combo Breaker, everybody. 2023, we are live officially with Killer Instinct Top 8. It's time. It is time. The crowd's excited. I'm excited. Of course, we have the reigning champion, by the way. I heard we have a champion incident here oh, at Combo do. Breaker. Uh, reigning champion for the tournament live on the stage up against a very dangerous opponent round one. Yeah, dude, Nikki is a resident KI player. He never mm -hmm. misses top eights. He usually wins the tournaments. But this guy, Extreme Zombie, is a monster, man. He's a ranked player that has been sworn by. If the top players have run into him, they're like, this guy, Extreme Zombie, is legit. And he hasn't had much of a chance to show out offline. But this is it right here. He's top eight. Top eight, top winner eight. side, right? We're going to take a look at the bracket, of course, for everybody at home who is not caught up in everything. Of course, you can follow along at start.gg as well. It's going to be Extreme Zombie versus Nikki, our first side on winners here. The other winner semis match, of course, not Alex V. The gamer not known as Alex V. Not Alex V at all. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Versus base, of course, two players that I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. On the loser side there, Sonic Dolphin and Absolute Zero. And then it's me. It's time to duel versus <laughs> Raven is Raw, excuse me, which is also reigning uh, finalist for Combo Breaker, right? Time to duel had the uh, great finals with Nikki. Obviously, they played. Very impressive set from those two. So I kind of expected them to make it. Raven is Raw just had that last match with Wheels that was really close to the qualifier. Yeah, absolutely. Raven is Raw is the kind of player that he hasn't been playing very often, like right. very soon. But he, he's one of those players, like playing Spinal for him is like riding a bike. He's yeah. been playing this character since season one. Mm -hmm. He plays all the time. He had a very famous Texas showdown, uh, Grand Spinals with base. He's yeah. always like right on the cusp of victory there. So it's no surprise that we're seeing him here in the top eight. The Grand Spinals. I like that one. That's, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, those two players, like, you, you kind of expect them to be around, so seeing them, you're like, all right. And that's how I felt about watching all the top 24, to be honest with me. Absolutely. There was so many good players, so much stuff to watch. So intros are rocking our first match here at Combo Breaker Top 8, and it's going to be a doozy already. If you haven't seen this character, Arya, I mean, this is robot on robot action. And the early start here already for Zombie going to be the knockdown, the setup after. Fly delayed overhead on the other side. Yeah, if you guys are a fan of Marvel, you're about to see this character have its own assists and take them into a 1v1 game. These two bots are fighting on the Ultra Techs, uh, the tower. Yeah, it's a this perfect is a very stage fitting too. stage for Ooh. them. And just let the DP rip right away. Oh, oh my god. god, what side was that on? Twerking on them already, and that's the danger of this character. You mentioned the assist. There's three different body types, and when they're not being used, right, she has the main body type right now, they are assists. So they're really useful for mix-ups like this. This is the flight body, as you notice by the hover that she's doing. Oh, this is going to be DP'd, yeah. Yeah, it's very hard for characters usually to anti-air her. When she doesn't have the assist, she has it as an anti-air body as well. Yep. Oh my god, baiting out a DP with that jumping medium kick, immediate break from Nikki. What kind of trade is this about to be? <laughs> that shadow. was super ugly. Yeah, had the armor right there, so it just went right through, which is really nice. But great first round there for Zombie. And yet, the flight being a big prop for Nikki. He doesn't have anything uh, to shut it down just yet. He's trying oh to DP the cast out in the air. I love that. Using the shadow. Just <laughs> crescendo on the knockdown flight for the mix up. And Nikki doesn't bite, but he's in a rough spot. No, yeah. Extreme Zombie has a huge life lead here, and he's whipping a lot of anti airs. Extreme Zombie is fluttering above his head and making him miss all of these anti airs. Nikki trying to put some pressure on here. Yeah, trying to press out to that forward heavy punch. You see oh, the flight and the just anti -air. calls it out with the heavy DP. Not quite the body, but Chip will do it. Yeah, There's this should end. be Chip anyway. I like the instinct activation, yeah. Oh, I wonder what Nikki pressed there. Maybe the it was punishable. It's going to be a punish on the DP there. Knockdown immediately. Nikki for the mix. And now all the bodies are taking damage because Arya is in her instinct. 
Uh huh. That's why we see the shadow DP again. And DP plus assist is an interesting idea. Oh, unfortunate they had no meter for shadow or anything. But that's right into ultra game one here for Extreme Zombie. I'm telling you, this guy is the problem, man. He is a ranked monster, and this is his first real showing at an offline event. But placing top eight winners, and now you're starting to see why. Yeah, I mean, this game has had great netcode for a decade now, by the way, which is pretty wild to think about. And so if you want to play the game online, you're perfectly, you know, capable of doing so and training against the best players. It's really, really useful. And as you can see there, the first game, Nikki just had no answer to the flight, really. That was a big problem. Yeah, he really did. And I liked how the Extreme Zombie didn't really commit to a lot of crazy mix-ups. He kind of just yeah. did a lot of fluttering, waited for Nikki to bust out with the anti-airs and stuff like that. He really likes to use the booster body to float around and just wrap that anti-air assist. It has an upward kind of crescendo to it. Yeah. And it's not challengeable. Like, it, nothing in the game beats it. Yeah, and the flight is so useful for that. Wow, we're seeing the rap oh, here. Yeah, yeah Pick swap a top right tier. over here. Pick the top tiers, both of them right there. Just seeing them on the screen. Very strong characters. Rap, obviously, you have that uh, great air mobility from him as well. Doesn't have the DP on defense unless you have Shadow, so oh, yeah. that's going to be a factor here as we see. Yeah, you have Man. an okay back dash at best for the rush. Yeah, rest. that's basically it. But you have this smothering offense. You have Wrecking Ball. You have the tongue in the air to try to uh, shut some of this down. So it gives you a little bit of a different look. But look at the assist. Just every time it feels like Zombie's going to get hit by anything, the assist is there to cover. I love Ooh. that link after. Yeah, just, and just continue the pressure. Put the pressure on. Nikki's about to have his instinct here. He's got it. After he's got a reversal on deck. I don't know if this is going to kill or not. Oh, but the assist is there too, so it's invincible. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter too much there. Wrecking Ball through. And if you're a zombie, you just run at this Damn. point. There's the shadow again. I That's haven't seen anybody way. use the shadow so well in the air like that. Yeah, and that was like really good to shut down Nikki because he got basically no mileage out of that instinct in that health bar. Extreme Zombie's sitting pretty on all of his health. Yeah, and we saw that uh, back Heavy Bunch cancel right there and then use the dash cancel. Didn't get anything out of it though. And Nikki with the big chance oh. now. Oh, GP again. Just leave, mix up and just go for the throw. This is a scary spot, man. Nikki's in big trouble here. Look at that. Every time we whip the DP, there's the assist to keep oh, us safe. Man. The bait again goes low. The assists have this offense just with basically no commitment. Even though Nikki has a bar to reversal, there's not really a ton he could do. We are going to see an instinct pop here again. Yeah, DP again trades even on the shadow, and there's the boot. But look at how low Nikki's life is. Does have instinct, but has to chew through two bodies with the oh. uh, instinct as well. <laughs> oh my God, he still had time to make Nikki block another uppercut there, and you gotta hold this mix. Unfortunate. Yeah, that is such a bad spot to be because the overhead low stuff. As soon as you get the uh, uh, sword body in, is just so messed up. I mean, it's one of the strongest things about this character. Super hard to deal with. That is 2-0 over the reigning champ. Yeah, I'm wondering how Nikki's gonna deal with this. It looks like he's thinking about it. He wants to go back to character select. Not feeling so confident in that rash pick. I know that he's been preparing this character specifically for this tournament, and it's a good character to prepare. I mean, you're picking the best character in the game. It's kind of hard to counterpick players like this, right? They yeah. have tons of experience against these kind of things. It's just another day for them. I was gonna say, like, you know, he's probably played the rash matchup like a million times. He right? has to. So even if your rash is like feeling pretty confident and newly prepared pick, I mean, this is super comfort on this other side, really. It's really hard to beat that. Oh, now we got Fulgore home. Turf here baits out the uppercut. Oh, yeah. Immediate break on that heavy auto. Yeah, I got the heavy auto. I wonder if it was supposed to be maybe a manual and just mistimed or something. Oh, laser in the front. Oh. Looking for something. Big DP whip, but it didn't end up mattering too much. And this is where there's oh. problems last time. Damn, and that anti-air assist is covering everything for Zombie. You could throw a DP on somebody's wake up, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, not a lot of pips for Nikki here either, which is a little worrisome for some of these lasers. Don't have cancel. Oh, that. Wow, that was so good to check the dash right there, and now Zombie's gonna have a mix-up. That was so cheap. Empty jump low from Extreme Zombie, getting the wall splat into the corner. The hard to breakable. Oh yeah, and then it's gonna be a cash out as well. Zombie's been doing a great job using the Shadow Crescendo uh, cash outs in the air on the ground. That's gonna be a DP right through. Ooh. Oh my god! Wake up jump with the down DP in the air. Yeah, just jump down Crescendo, float mix up. You see the wiggle, he was trying to get out of there with the Shadow, and he does. So much better start here for Nikki in this game. Yeah, that was a perfectly timed Shadow for him. He's gonna have to go into this phase here where Ari's gonna have Blade Body, two bars, Instinct. But he's gonna actually opt the zone here, and he's gonna keep the ants here, body. I like that instinct factor. A little bit more damage, not quite the kill, but these drones, yeah, gonna get the chip. Those, not a factor. Those drones have no recovery either. He literally just puts them out and it's not really punishable. You kind of just gotta deal with it. Yeah, I get the Ooh. manual off it. Ooh, baited out a breaker there. Oh more my pressure. god! Yeah, just dash, 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 and Nikki gets the throw out of there. 
challenge again on Wake Up. Oh my god, he caught that. What a oh, counter a breaker counter from breaker. Extreme Zombie! Huge damage. This has a damage energy. Oh my overhead. god. Oh my god, Life Breaker. Nikki's in trouble. Not a lot to do here. Ultra's available. Oh, counter and he counter breaker. breaks him again, man. What were you gonna do? I mean, you were just stuck in a rock and a hard place, and that was just every moment of that was played incredibly well. Like, there's just no chances to get out, and the pace that Zombie played was just, nobody can keep up. I think that Arya is one of those characters that she takes so much damage in the long run of the matches, she loses tools as the matches go on because the bodies die. Yeah. But she also has the ability to play so safe and just not commit, and he played that to a T. He did not take any unnecessary risk, and the only two counterbreakers that he went for worked. It was textbook perfect from Extreme Zombie. Yeah, and it was like every time he got knocked down, it felt like, okay, he's either going to DP or he's going to do something, and then Nikki would like try to bait stuff, and it was like jump forward air crescendo. It's like, oh god. And then you try to bait something, it's wake up jab or wake up shotgun knee or backdash or whatever right and there's so many different options being represented it was like how do you pin someone down when they're just so tricky and they're playing so fast so snappy yeah he was responsive with everything he was ready for everything that nikki threw at him man it was just i mean nikki is the person who told me that before this tournament extreme zombie is coming here and i went to a tournament where he didn't make it out of his pool but i played him in casuals and he washed me. Yeah. He told me this right before Combo Breaker, so it's only fitting that these guys had to run into each other. I think we got Base and Alex V coming up, which is going to be our another winner side top eight match. Yeah, and speaking of Rash, we brought him up earlier, obviously, because of the, the preparation for that character. We're going to see some of him uh, here today. We saw Spinal a little bit earlier, if you were watching the semis on the channel right before. <laughs> Alex getting the crowd V getting the up. crowd riled up. I'm with That's it, I'm with talking it. About. This is a big match here. Winner semis, winner of this plays against Zombie, right? Yes, yeah, sir. And this is a big chance. I, I feel like, you know, as as scary as Zombie is, if you see Nikki down and loses bracket right now, you're like, no, yeah, it's, that's a problem. It's my time. Man. Like, I gotta get to the winners' finals. I'm not trying to play Nikki. I'm not trying to play anybody. Like, it's time. So, I like that. I'm a big fan. Alex V straight out of Mexico, man. This is first off line. Man, that the float mix-up was just. It was so much to deal with, and I love these shadow cash outs in the air. You just saw Extreme Zombie never really put himself in bad spots. And if Not he did, all. there was so much happening that it felt really hard to stop. You know what I mean? Like, it, there was just so much going on, which is, is very pesky when you play against a player like this. I love, too, the, like, meaty DP with the assist call. Yeah. Because it's just like, all right, look, what, are you going to DP? Like, sure, I'll just do this, and then I'll have my assist, and then I'll be safe after. And it doesn't really matter, right? Like, oh, my God, what a call out. That was wild. The other thing about that anterior assist is it's actually a physical attack. So the shadows like that that Nikki just did, they actually don't work against that assist. So they can work against the bomb, the crescendo, and everything like that, but they don't work against that. Extreme Zombie getting this huge two counter breakers right at the end, right after that reset as well. Yeah, and just challenge with the shotgun, the immediate counter breaker, and that's all she wrote. I mean, just extremely impressive play. And I see our uh, no. competitors up on the stage. <laughs> you had to give it up. Locked and loaded. Yeah, I mean, what do you, if you get beat like that, you're like, all right, you got He's me, like, bro. man. You're pretty good. Yeah. I, I can't say anything bad about you. I think they're into the match here. They on look the stage. like they're playing. Yeah, they're yeah. playing. Here Eagle, we go. Eagle versus uh, Rash here, which is going to be our matchup. Makes sense. So we don't have Spinal. And we'll get the name switched in a second here. It's uh, Base, yeah. Yep, versus base not and Alex, Alex V, the artist formerly known as. <laughs> yeah, the artist formerly known as Alex V. He actually did all the music for this event as well. Gonna be mixed up here. Slide, yeah. I mean, this is the thing about Eagle. He looks so messed up when he's on offense. You know, he's just one of those very much so. Where you're just like, please help me. I want to get out. That's gonna oh, be yeah. a shadow, though. This is Alex V trying to get out right now, utilizing that instinct pop into back dash. He's gonna get a recapture back into the corner. Let's see if he can make some use out of this instinct and the two bars that he's sitting on. Yeah, I love that with that regular throw right there. Gonna be another wall splat. Goes to the throw again. Oh. Back heavy punch plus the cart. Another wall splat, oh and then yet God. no throw this time because the heavy kick into the linker is going to kill. Base is not a fan of using Eagle's Instinct whatsoever, so it's possible that we might not see that pop unless it's an Ultra situation. He kind of uses that Ultra to circumvent some of the Ultra bugs that Eagle has. Oh my God, instant overhead with the arrow. Mm -hmm. And the bird, the bird wrapped that up. I was just going to say, yeah, that extra <laughs> little damage on the bird really paid off, so we got ourselves an even match. And it's really big because uh, Rash no Instinct, right? So we, we got a while on that. Yeah, and Alex has been sitting on this meter forever. For a character that only has a reversal with meter, Alex has been spending this bar. Yeah, Wrecking Ball roundhouse after Wrecking Ball, really useful move. You're going to see quite a bit of it. Yeah, just like that. So one. awkward, the challenge. It is really difficult. It has armor on the way. There's a breaker on the shadow slide. Oh, and stuffed out of the arrows. Look at the damage on so this, by the way. So much damage. 27% just for that. Oh, oh my, my god. Very awkward scenario back into the corner with the Wrecking Ball. Oh my, another one, the throws just keep coming. Back heavy bunch blocked. It's gonna be slide into the bird. 
But what's after? It feels like Mason cannot get going. That's a big lockout, but no, the drop. Oh, and a break there. He did not go straight into Ultra, and that gave Base a chance to break the combo. Breaker looks good oh. here. Clings back on the bird. Running out of arrows, though. Got to pick those up, yeah. He's going to use the bird to try to find some space. Shut down the Wrecking Ball. Pick up the arrows back. Get okay. the bird bird. will get it. He uh -oh. got, he's got the corner here. This is looking a little scary. Alex B just waiting, though. It has instinct. Says, as soon as you do something unsafe, I'm popping. Are we going to see the shadow here? It's just safe on block. Oh my god. Scramble situation in the corner. We're in chip territory here, and that's it. Yeah, just that standing heavy bunch. There's going to be two hits. The cards come in. Alex B well played. Alex. Yeah, pop off in the middle. <laughs> He's got to pop off in the middle. Alex played his first match in pools one and just started screaming. Yeah. And never stopped. No. Yeah. You All would have thought, that he thought it was first to one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the way to the safe. And I we go back to character select for base, but still on eagle. Not doing anything weird so far. Just maybe yeah. wanted a second. He's like, all right, you're popping off. I'm going back to character select, thinking about this for a second. This is Alex. is very excited, man. This is his first offline. He has multiple online tournament wins. He could bang with any player in this game. But it's, it's I mean, this is offline. It's a different story, man. It's a completely different story offline. And Alex V has proven that he belongs up here. Oh, yeah. Throw to start for base. Great position. Caught the back dash, but... You know, gets the light breaker afterwards. A lot of people expect that, looking for throw, or you get the light break, so either option's pretty good. Oh, baits the throw, tongue down roundhouse. Oh, nice break. He recognized that caustic three hits, heavy. Yeah, the linkers in this game, that's how they work. One hits light, two hits medium, three hits heavy, so you can tell when you see the timing on them. Take a little bit longer. Oh, base not getting hit by any of these overheads. No, yeah, his defense on it has been great, actually. You got it when you're playing this character. This character has no reversal. He's got a three-frame slide very fast, but he definitely does not have any reversal options. Yeah, and that's, you know, to make up for his really scary offense once he gets going with stuff like this, you shoot the arrows up, you go low. This corner Nasty blender. stuff after. Look at this. Yeah, mm. double shadow for the kill. Very nicely done for base. So look at this. Up a life bar now after Alex just, you know, jumping out of his chair, getting excited. Got to recompose. Pop the instinct. Gonna make the best use out of this instinct that he can. He's probably not gonna get another one because he did not use it in his first life bar. Oh, good throw tech. That throw into the bike would have definitely done base in there. Yeah, base trying to slow things out. Oh. Wrecking ball and gets the recapture late. Oh, that was tricky. The air button missed too. And then got the recapture after. He might actually get another instinct because he didn't take very much damage on that. Base trying to, oh, he got thrown right back into the corner. Plus frames here into the wrecking ball. I think he was trying to hold up there. Yeah, it looks like a jump got clipped, maybe. Uh-oh, roundhouse runs up. Tongue, if it was down, it would have worked, actually, to beat the throw. That was a great confirm, the double jab. Oh, pops the instinct just to see, and still gets hit by the tongue, unfortunately. Alex not choosing to spend this bar. He's hanging onto it for reversals and lockouts. Oh, I love the wait there on the throw to try to drain some of this instinct oh, time. Oh, the bird saved him. Yeah, even though he got hit, and this is where he's struggling oh. to recap. Oh, and that's going to be the kill. It's so unfortunate your your overhead is also a recapture. <laughs> it is also a recapture. It's perfect for guarding the corner. And that begs the question, do you think Alex V even cared if he was blocking all the overheads, or was he just using that to keep base in the corner the entire time? Yeah, it keeps you locked down. You hold up on wake up, you get clipped by a recapture combo. Easy peasy. So look at this, up 2-0. Alex V, got to be, like, be feeling great after that. I mean, playing super well. Base has not had a lot of great answers so far. He's back to character select again. There's not a lot of matchups that I know that Base likes in this situation. I mean, we could go with Old Faithful, which is Spinal. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I know he's not a big fan of that matchup, but I do think that his anti-air options are better than Eagles. I do think that his mobility is better than Eagles. So when he gets into these situations with Rash, it's not so much that he has an easier time, but he does have a way to get out. Mira, interesting, yeah. a very rare pick from Base. Yeah, I mean, a character with a lot of strong tools, a lot going on, but obviously very risky because, you know, your own life bar is your greatest resource. Very fitting for a vampire character. Going to put these plus frames on Alex. He just holds up back, and that got him out of that bat setup right there. Yeah, little juggle. Didn't get too much damage, but got great carry on it. Mira also has a mist that costs her health, but it just is invincible and allows her to air dash out of situations. Ooh, got Alex running into the corner. We're going to see damage here in the middle of the screen as opposed to a side switch. Yeah, exactly. Oh, combo to the corner here. Yeah, just takes the one jab and then backs out after. Doesn't go for the whole string or anything. Uh-oh, Wrecking Ball hits. Yeah, this is unfortunate. There's some extra life up there for base two because of the miss. 
Yeah, that life is not looking good for base. This could be potentially a lot of damage that he's about to lose here. Yeah, 50% on that combo alone. Base is in trouble here. Doesn't have instant get either, and the card hits. Got to guess on the linker and the throw is probably enough here. That's very much enough to kill, and Alex is being so smart, kind of backing off, not getting face-to-face -face with base, and just trying to bait the mist out. Yeah, break on the heavy linker was great there, but what a good start oh. for base. Just turned all the way around from Alex. Break on the double after, too, and... Man, it feels like you can't hit him, and even if you do, he's got the brakes ready right away. Lights back to the front of weird scramble there. I like spends that. the shadow. Yeah, just no, like, I don't want to mess around. Wrap it spend up. this. Yeah, get the kill. I'm okay to come off the meter. Now, base is sitting on his instinct, which is going to allow him to build up a ton of potential damage on oh Alex. Oh, my. The air flip out, he was twerking for a second there. <laughs> he really was. Just gets hit. This is huge, actually. Going to spend it. Yeah, get that extra potential life. You want to put the Vampire Mist on. This is going to be building up Alex's potential damage. Base is fishing for a huge lockout here. He yeah. wants this big damage cash out. Yeah, but unfortunately for him, Alex with the break on the lights. Uh-oh. Going to be able to juggle off this. Wrecking Ball after. Good damage even for a juggle there. Well, 30% oh, overhead the hits. Overhead again. That was the guess for the game right there. He had to break, otherwise he's going to be ultra. Oh, that was very ambiguous. Oh, not enough to wall splash. Yeah, too far away. It was a little too far. Now base is in oh, trouble. The man. cart hits. No combo off of it, but he's got no health, no life, and Alex V. Oh, and popping this pop off. off. Oh my god. Making it all the way to winner's finals. 3-0. So base and Nikki losers side with Zombie and Alex V in the winner's finals of Combo Breaker. This is the newer age of KI, man. These guys are the guys that are about to come up and start placing. That's what I'm saying. Look, you have Pace and Nikki and loser side now. Alex V and Zombie in winners. This is what happens, right? This is the kind of game that this is. You can These still guys. play it, develop, become a top player in this era in Killer Instinct. Yeah, the online, like I said, this is the benefit of good rollback, like you were saying earlier. The offline timing is different, but as Alex V told me earlier, it's not that different. Not that different. It's You'll get used to different. it. After playing on it for a weekend, you get used to it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, he really things. was, yeah. Where you, where you play it. So that uh, sets us up to take a look at the bracket here. I mean, two three O's back to back from our you know, newer players, not that they're even that new, to be honest with you, but they're newer relative to Nikki and Bass, who are familiar to, I'm sure, a lot of players out there. Going to be our winner's finals, which sets up loser side here. Yeah, we have Sonic Dolphin going up against Absolute Zero. This is a premier offline top eight for Absolute Zero. He has not made it to his top eight. And then we have, like, another resident player, Raven is Raw. It's time to duel, yeah. who a couple years back dropped Omen, picked up Con Ra, and he's stuck with it, and he's, like, the Con Ra to watch. So you yeah. guys are in for a treat to watch him. Yeah, his Con Ra is super, super good. Super fun to watch. Obviously, had a great run last year, too, so always fun to see him compete. And somebody you expect to see right around top eight, to be honest with you, makes sense as a player as our competitors already up on the stage, ready to go. Man, those two, first two matches were like a beatdown, too. Was two three O's back to back against veteran players we expect to see in winner's finals. You got to get the bunny ears the on. Bunny it's very ears. important. I noticed one ear is getting clipped by the headphone, though. Up it there. Is. is that strategy, you think? I think it is, because when I was watching Absolute Zero play in his pool, he didn't have the bunny ears. I saw him kind of sad. I saw him put the bunny ear down with the one ear, and the confidence went through the roof. He made it in the top eight from the loser side after a pretty tough loss. He had a really, really tough match against Wheels. He was like razor thin. I came down here this morning and he had an amazing match against Letalis actually resulting in a 3-0. I did see that he was playing up against Letalis, yeah, early in that bracket down there. So impressive stuff. I mean, you know, it was a, the top 24 was super stacked. It was on this uh, stream right before this. So if anybody missed anything, highly recommend checking it out, of course. And then we went right into our top eight after that. Nice 2 p.m. top eight. So we're like in the middle of the day. Everybody vibing, get some dinner after this, feeling good. Repping the D pad. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. His oh. D pad <laughs> fell out of his control. How does that happen? You know, when you got the detachable D pad, that stuff happens. Oh my God. Check the bunny ears. It might be inside It might those. be in there. It could be anywhere. It's possible at this point. Yeah, we have Dolphin on the other side. Another a competitor we've seen in tons of different top eights oh, yeah. for this game for years and years and years. Really, really strong player. And someone I kind of, you know, expect to see in a bracket like this make it pretty far. Has a couple of characters as well, so not just one. I, most KI players don't just play one character. You know, a lot of people mess around with two, three characters. No, he's kind of... The thing about Sonic Dolphin is he's sort of the opposite of the players that we were talking about here before, right? Because he doesn't have a ton of online presence. He doesn't really play in, in the online tournaments as much. But when he has... When Combo Breaker is here, Sonic Dolphin is in top eight. Yeah, he exactly. is in top eight every time. Which is very impressive, too, because, you know, this is one of those games you think about as, like, the online game, right? You're, like, playing it online all the time, lots of tournaments, lots of events, but 
to see him show up. And he's like, what up, everybody? Oh, cool. We're in top eight. Let's do it. I'm so curious as to what's in this bag. Yeah, it's like know. a Narnia bag or something. It's like endless. Yeah, he's got a bag of holding. He's just reaching in there, yeah. grabbing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> D-pad fell out. Don't play analog, whatever you do. Uh-oh, the backup D-pad? Oh, dang. That's not even broken in. Right, that's you got to tie good. a rubber band around that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to do something to break it in. You're like, it's over. Oh, no. Looks like he's locked and loaded, trying it. I'm seeing a lot of head shaking. He's looking to see he if it really fell wants, somewhere. Yeah. He wants the, this is the D-pad that got him into top eight, man. That's true. This is not the time to abandon that D-pad. Yeah, if that happens, I mean, it's over, you know. All right, looks like he's still looking for it. Stage manager is helping him out. Somebody bring a magnifying glass up there. Yeah, we the need to find, we need to locate this D-pad. This is the problem with detachable stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a stick player, and I'm always afraid of the detachable ball tops. Oh, I, could, I don't think I could ever. I'm a little afraid that one time I'm going to just, like, go to grab my stick and just be like, it's gone. Like, you're I have no be idea like where this. it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to have to play by holding the inside like of the, yeah. yeah. That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. I don't think my hands are, like, delicate enough to make that a reality. Oh, I see him running off the stage looking for it. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't know what he's looking for, man. It might be somebody, he might be trying to borrow a D pad. I don't know if he yeah. wants another controller. Walking around the audience, yo, you got a D pad? Anybody got a D pad? You guys got a D pad? <laughs> like it's like a guitar pick or something? Yeah. And you guys got a, like a guitar. Hey, you guys got one? It's a spare for me to uh, pick up easy peasy, but yeah, I'm going to get that figured out. Sonic Dolphin just vibing. Sonic's on like amateur. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, looks like he's ready. What? He's like, he, he did this, which means like, all right, everybody, we're good. All right. Everything's fine. I got this all figured He's out. He's like, if I lose, it's the D-pad. I'm just letting you know now. That's Don't true. feel yourself. Don't start feeling yourself. I bet you it's the original D-pad, but it's just an, like a really deep option. Slot. Yeah. It's just like, you know, if I lose, the sun was in my eyes. Like, it's the wrong D-pad. He threw. He kicked it under the stage. He's like, I'm not, I'm not taking this up here, dude. I need an OS somehow. Mm -hmm. It looks like we're going to get into it. Got to adjust our volume. Yeah, the nice thing about all these uh, setups, too, is there's the, the amp on there. You can adjust your audio individually. Pretty useful stuff since uh, it comes with a pair of headphones up there. And playing this game without sound is rough. Oh I mean, a, a lot of fighting games are like that, but I think KI is the hardest game for me to play without sound. Especially because with other fighting games, once you get hit, you kind of just got to watch what yeah. happens, right? But in KI, once you get opened up, you're still engaged, and you still need to, like, listen. And listening for strengths is... Those sound cues are huge. They're yeah. crucial. So sound is... Very, very important in this game. Yeah, I think this is the hardest game for me to play without sound by far. So, you know, having sound in a major, really, really useful. Looks Ooh. like they're ready to go. Sonic Dolphin closing the gap. He does not want to deal with the normals that Hisako has. So he's just trying to get inside of that range off rip. Oh, yeah. And Kim has good normals herself, too, honestly. She's got very good, much. especially if you have to approach her, right? Yeah. She doesn't like chasing characters, I think, as much, even though she has to. But very good if she uh, gets up in the pocket and be She's the wall splat. Very high damage, very crazy frame traps. This is going to side switch for absolute zero. He's going to start putting some pressure on his own. Big Ooh. whiff on that command grab. I don't think he wanted that. Yeah, it takes the side swap here. Oh. And the counter break on the firecracker for the kill. That's easy peasy damage. You take that. Sonic confidently takes that first life bar, and he gets a dragon for himself. It's going to allow him to do some cancels as well. I was going to say, I like that combo into the dragon. Really good awareness that you can get the wall splat and then uh, just get that side swap for the dragon as well. Oh, we're going to get a huge hit stun on here. Gets oh the God. strength. Carrying him to the corner. Going for the side switch here. Yeah, going to be set up. Air oh, on, air on, where are you on. going? And that's the worst part is you want to jump because it's a grappler, and then you just get recaptured into all kinds of damage. Ooh, reset on that possession. Another side switch here. Oh, great shadow counter from Absolute Zero. Yeah, Dolphin even went for the cancel, but it ended up mattering. Oh, reset. Dolphin out of there, though. Does have instinct. He knew that Absolute Zero wanted to wrap up that life bar. And again, he scouts that command grab. Oh, and this oh, time, no. that's huge. The damage on this is a lot. Kim Woo Her. Damn. Deleted. Yeah, 65. Oh, my what fly. the? Yeah, the Dragon Kick, Air Dash, gets anti air And <laughs> there's the air on Rio's on. Not enough to kill the parry. Uh oh. Oh, very nice confirm. Go straight into Ultra. And it's only by a hair, but that was a supreme victory for Sonic Dolphin. Mm -hmm. The one inch punch at the end to get the kill, too. And yes. yeah, Dolphin is really good about using the cancels to make your normal break timings not work, right? And that kind of stuff can really throw you off. When you're like, oh, that's a medium or a heavy, and then you just immediately doesn't get a chance. It changes the timing. You get timing locked out, and you're like, well. And a character with so many plus frames, as soon as you start to get past the first, like, 30 seconds of the match, you build your first bar. You gotta watch out for Shadow Counter. It's great for baiting that as well. Yeah, exactly, which is what Dolphin was trying to do earlier with the Shadow Counter bait, but then just got Shadow Counter anyway. A lot of active frames on that. You see the first hit already. No break on the medium doubles or anything. Wall splat already. Just takes the light kick. Pressure is so good. Absolute Zero having a lot of problems here on defense, which, I mean, makes sense. Kim Wu really 
kind of steamrolls once she gets in. I wonder if Sonic Dolphin wants to force him to represent the parry because Hisako doesn't have any other defensive options against strikes. She's, her backdash is terrible. Ooh. Uh oh. Now it's time for things to flip around. Air on Rio's on pressure, but again, Sonic Dolphin getting out with backdash pretty consistently. Oh. oh. Tried to beat it. That's going to be a counter anyway. Way too far to punish that, so Absolute Zero took advantage of that. Sonic fishing for his next opening here. I like the command grab there. Again, yeah, represented it a couple times after blocking that. Blocks the overhead and just says, all right, it's time. Dolphin was waiting. Did a really good job checking the dash earlier. Oh, oh scary whip. whip. Punish. Yeah, it just takes the light into the knockdown afterwards. Oh, and it beat the DP. Oh, that's a free parry into a combo. I like that he just took the throw there. That was so smart. Yeah, just get that damage. Easy peasy. Has the dragon as well, so... Yeah, just shoots it out. Double dragon. <laughs> Double dragon for real, and he confirmed off of that into the shadow. Early break from Absolute Zero. Oh, yeah. Wow, that barely reached you. Oh, oh, he was right. right, but wrong at the same time. No break on the heavy linker either. Just lets it rock. Box in the front. Tick into the command grab. Not enough to kill, but oh. very close, and the delayed button does the job. Absolute Zero trying to close the oh, gap. My. Shuts down that dragon dash in the air. Are we going to see a break attempt? We do. Yeah, trying to break the manual down. at the end there. Didn't get the right strength, though. Ooh. What? Oh, wow, my. that hit! It didn't, just barely, though. Dalton does have uh, instinct. Just, wow, you woke oh up like that! Oh my god, man. That overhead is a low crush, so if you try to go for Hisako's crouching medium kick, you will get blown up for doing that. Yeah, and also, if you, you're you trying to bait the instinct, maybe, right? You don't want to oh swing. Swing the chucks. Oh, yeah, chucks. Free that's going to be a counter, yeah. Oh, jumps the reset as well. Good awareness, and that hits two. You see a juggle here. Possible cash out. No. Didn't oh my get it. God. Love the air to air from Dolphin as well. Trying to stop the dash just barely out of range. Absolute Zero can make this happen. He has a rage advantage. Sonic Dolphin really needs to be careful here. Oh, yeah. This is one hit scenario, maybe either way. You have to be very careful swinging these big normals. Kim, you oh. know he might be looking for a whip punish with the dragon or something, so you have to be careful. Yes, he's definitely looking for that dash. Oh, the jump in. Oh, oh it's right straight. in the ultra. Great confirm there from Sonic Dolphin. Sonic seems very, very comfortable with just closing the gap and trusting in his frame traps. Because Zero hasn't really been representing the parry, he's going ham sandwich, man. He's just yeah. going in. He's, he's been using the parry basically on instinct activation. Where yeah. He has the guaranteed parry, right? So. And not only that, but in neutral, I think Sonic Dolphin has looked super clean so far, which, you know, you normally think about Hisako's big old buttons and everything, it's difficult to deal with, but, you know, he's been just dominating mid-range. The other thing that's scary is that Kim does have this super floaty jump that's really easy to anti-air, but yes. she can cut it short with a Dragon Dash, and Sonic has been placing those so perfectly in this game. Yeah, which is a big factor in playing this character, honestly, knowing how to use the Dragons well. Stuff like that for the, the uh, Dash Council is really good. Same character, same stage. Dash in for the command grab. Absolute zero starting off early here. Oh, whiffs the command grab. He had, it seems like he had the right reads because Sonic jumped a little late there. Oh, that's a big punish. Yeah, it was ready. Just waited. One nice thing about Hisako, you can delay your linkers and your manuals, all kinds of stuff so much. It's very tough to break this character if you're tricky. Take into the command grab once again. Oh my, oh my god, god, there's the wake up overhead again. Yeah, I think it's just a strat. Oh, that's going to be a whip punish. Or counter actually take it, yeah. But every time I think you're respecting instinct, that's when Dolphin just waking up with the overhead. No attempted break there from Absolute Zero. He knows that Sonic could Dragon Cancel. He just oh decides my. to take this damage. And that's kind of tough to take 64% on the chin like that. Yeah. Oh, this dude, he's checking the dash is so well. Man, Sonic Dolphin's neutral has been so impressive in this matchup. Yeah, he's shutting that dash down. Absolute Zero is not using his buttons as much. He's just trying to dash to get in, and Sonic is taking advantage of that big time. Yeah. I mean, oh. that's the thing. Oh, the dash cancel fake out on the overhead. Didn't work out because of the instinct activation. Breaker on the medium double is not having it. Nice air to air there from Absolute Zero, and he catches the back dash with possession. These guys are about even on life here. Yeah, big one. Absolute Zero's instinct gone, but needed that damage anyway. And yeah, you know, Hisako, oh, that's big. This is a big start here. Dolphin not quite on instinct yet. Very cautious with the offense. Maybe trying to beat a shadow counter there. Overhead, Great. and we've seen possession after overhead like almost every time. Yeah, I think he just knows that Sonic is probably just gonna try to block. No combo. No shadow counter attempt there at all from Absolute Zero. Yeah, I got the counter hit, medium kick, and then just says, all right, I'll take the little damage afterwards. No problem. Dolphin's still on a lead here. Oh, not checking the dashes there. That's a little scary. Backdash again. Instinct available for Sonic Dolphin. Uh-oh. 
Nice. Whiff punish with the Dragon Cannon. Ooh, that combo's so weird. That would have been hard to break, too. Absolute Zero doesn't even try and counter breaker. That would have been the game if it hits, though. Absolutely. Kim does so much damage. Ooh, that's a that's just an immediate shadow. No attempt to on the break. Damage Not is close. Quite enough. Absolute Zero's instinct. What a jump back from Sonic Dolphin using the Dragon Cancel to get the punish. And we this is our third 3-0. Yeah, another 3-0 in top eight here to send Absolute Zero out of the tournament. Very well played, though, from Sonic Dolphin, I have to say. Nice. Just <laughs> pop off. Yeah, everything was right. Like, it's so hard. When someone's neutral is so good like that, it's just it's hard to crack, you know, because Hisako has huge normals, but you need to dash or move to get in range, right? And when you see stuff like that, it's like, well, how am I supposed to initiate, you know? Every time I noticed that Sonic Dolphin was willing to just be patient, wait in the range, represent the crouching medium, and just scout out those dashes, Hisako really has to commit in the neutral when she moves, and he knows that better than anybody. That matchup oh, yeah. is tough. It's tough to deal with. Yeah, very well played. We're going to take a look back at some of the stuff from our last match, and I have to say, just really impressive knowledge of what to do in neutral there from Sonic Dolphin. I don't even feel like Absolute Zero, Zero did anything wrong. It's just more like Dolphin just was super prepped for the matchup and played it really clean. Yeah, it seemed like he was getting more hits than him, and it also just allowed him to play that breaker game so much better, too. He saved his instinct just like this throw for the right times. And he even stayed patient in these situations when he had to shut the matches down. Oh, He's yeah. He's waking up overhead at all the right times. Yeah, wake up overhead when you have instinct is, like, so good. Because everybody's expecting, you know, instinct activation on wake up. You just wrap the overhead. You're like, what's up? And you can cancel yeah. it in instinct if you want to. Absolutely. So. And you can make yourself plus as well. Yeah. It's a really good option. Love it. This is not enough to kill. But the set scenario after was so good for Dolphin. Just already up backing. Immediate dash. Really good awareness right there for sure. So well played from Sonic Dolphin. He's moving on in the bracket. Loser side, obviously. A long road to go. But playing very well. Yeah, we got Duel coming up against Raven is Raw here. Yeah, this is not going to be a 3-0. I'm calling it right now. This is our I first non-3-0 so. match of top eight. It's Please. happening. No, Raven, man, he's another, like we were saying before, he's a resident spinal player. Mm -hmm. And Duel actually had an insanely, like, razor-thin close match earlier against the base on the same stage. Um, Duel beat Letalis to make top eight in this tournament. Another person that everybody expected to make top eight, man. Letalis is top eight everywhere. He's a beast. Oh, yeah. And Duel took him out, man. Yeah, and uh, I mean, that's the thing is like both of these players, you know, players I expect to see making it far in the tournament, but so many of the players that were in the top 24 that were so close, it's the same thing. If I saw them in top eight, I wouldn't be surprised either. There's so many incredibly close matches to try to get those qualifiers in winners and losers side. I was down here earlier watching this top 24 and I didn't know where to stand. Yeah. Because I couldn't deal with how many amazing matchups we had. Oh yeah, there was a ton. And I mean, that's the cool thing is that there's so many good players from all over the place, right? Whether they're playing online all the time, offline, from all over the, the world, all many different regions represented. And of course, like, you know, you, you want all of them to do well, obviously, right? There's only one combo breaker killer in sync tournament a year. So we're just like, oh man, I would have loved to see this person in top eight. So, you know, it's one of those things, what can you do? Yeah, it would have been, I mean, this is what I expected from Combo Breaker. This is the big stage for Killer Instinct. If there's no other tournament that has KI here, this is where everybody's going to make it a point to be here for. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't seen the matches earlier, again, you have to check them out. I mean, the semis Absolutely. matches were super duper good. I highly recommend checking them out again. They were earlier on this channel, so you can just go back in the archive, check them out. They're really, really good. Thanks to uh, Spooky Stream for holding it down. It looks like we're getting into our match. We're going to let the intros rock here. This is what I expected to see. We got Conra versus Spinal. I would honestly say that these guys are both character specialists. Yeah, they might 100%. dabble in a couple of other characters, but they stick to their guns at a time like this. Yeah, and Conra is one of those weird ones, right, where he was so popular, obviously, when he was really, really strong, and then kind of fell off for a little bit until people relearned how to play the character in this new version. He is very different than how he used to be, but still a really, really strong character in the right hand. Oh, yeah, and he's the ultimate knowledge check. If you don't know how to deal with Conra, you're going to lose. That's it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Sand Explosion immediately on the dive kick. Doesn't want to see any kind of pressure. Trying to oppress here with this jumping heavy punch. Throwing out the overhead, putting this corner pressure on Duel. Duel staying patient. He wow. anti that dive kick. That, that was, was amazing. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's not even like it's an easy move to anti air with them that uh, scenario, too. Some characters have faster anti airs than that, and he was just ready. Yeah, and this is what you're going to be seeing from Duel here is when he has a sand pit on the screen, he gets a reversal called Sand Explosion, and you're going to see him opt to use that as an anti air more often than not. Ooh, breaker on the light right after two. Sent heavy kick right into the command grab. Recap. Oh, and a big lockout. He can do the spin and he can end this health bar right here. Oh yeah. Antlion. Oh, he did not. He should. I think he should have spent that bar. Personally, yeah. Personally. No damage ender, so it's not. Oh, that's scary. 
This is a dangerous hit to get hit by. Two sand explosion on the reset. Love that. Why even worry Don't about what the reset's gonna be? Just mash the explosion, and you're just like, yeah, I'm out. Oh, jump was perfect there, and the dive kick for the punish. And these, this, we're gonna be playing ping pong with these skulls in a minute here. This is the problem. These are very plus. They're about plus five on block. That's big two. Side swap back with the teleport into the corner. Get some skulls out of it. Jab, throw, but jump out from the oh. oh my. That was really good. That dive kick to just slip out of the way. You try to get in there with the punish. It was super smart for him to do that because it allowed him to get the combo he needed to collect these skulls. And this is the hallmark of spinal gameplay is putting these skulls on people. The curses, the stuff, the meter, the plus frames, the frame trap. Oh, yeah. Crashy medium kick that time. Doesn't go for the overhead run cancel. And Duel needs these hits. Oh, man, that teleport sword has worked so many times already. It's a very pesky thing to stop. You'll see that Conrad's instinct is cursed. It means that he will not build instinct. Amazing spin there from Duel. Yeah, big call out. Now he's got the Scarab Ender here. Teleports out. It's a little too short for the, the uh, Scarab to even hit him there, so it didn't really matter. Sword and sword again. No anti at that time. Slides into the Shadow Skull. Duel takes his turn, but... Oh, man. Raven is holding it down here in the corner with his jumping heavy punch. Yeah, we haven't seen an anti here. Nice confirm. This is actually really big. And the break again on the light. Uh oh no whip punish. Jump in is big. This oh is a big chance. God. Heavy linker broke again. Jump heavy kick. Uh-oh. Chance here. This is going to give him a good setup. It's not going to be enough to kill, but he's going to get a great setup off of this in preparation for Raven's instinct. Oh, it's big. Got to expect the oh instinct here. He's just waiting. Shadow. Oh, my God. The sand explosion. Why not? You think you're going to kill me? Almost died himself, honestly. His health is so low. That Shadow Scarab floating around on the ground there gave Duel the ability to just sand explode and let that take care of it, man. He didn't have to worry about it at all. Shadow yeah. Bone Shaker is projectile immune, but it doesn't it doesn't compare to how long that lasts on the screen. That was such a smart move from Duel. Yeah, you're you're invincible until you're not. And then yeah. once you're not anymore, if that projectile's still there, you know you're gonna get hit by it. So it's a nice thing about having that lingering projectile, right? And that's so smart. This is what you see from these high-level players in this game. You know you're not going to kill. You know you're not going to put into danger. Do the ender that's going to give you the best setup yeah. for the scenario ahead of you. I like that a lot. Yeah, and just that incredible clutch right there. Uh, really, really impressive. I mean, you know, because you're sitting there thinking, like, do I even have the life to do this? Am I going to die if yeah. I the sand explosion? So it was a very scary spot. Raven trying to close the gap early. Duel's trying to set up shop here. You want to get sand pits on the screen so that you have a reversal. Oh, yeah. And extra mobility and stuff too. You know, there's Absolutely. a lot of, of really good things about a Scarab. Out again, force the block, and yeah, maybe trying to jump or wiggle right there. Got a Scarab out, get the curse on him. And just he could just sit in here, man. I mean, that Stinger is going to come out. It's proximity. So if Raven gets close to him, he's going to get stung. Yeah. There exactly. it is. Yeah, it just comes out of the ground. <laughs> like, what up? Even behind content. too. Yeah, and you can just jump like this. You know, do whatever you want, pressure you want. The Scarab's just going to keep coming out while it's on the screen. Pulls oh him my in. god. I like that. Yeah, that was really smart as well. And I like that he didn't even give him a break chance. He could have went for a recapture there, but when you do a spin over the pit, it actually gets rid of the pit. So it was smart that Duel didn't attempt to do that. Exactly. Just keep the pit on the screen because look at how look at this work out for him. He doesn't need to do anything. Well, he just keeps getting stung and the timer on the stinger just keeps getting reset. Yeah, it's like bro, stop hitting yourself kind of <laughs> moment. It's like look at this. It really gone. is. Yeah, and just take the grab ender. Again, you don't want to do anything to reset your, your sand here because it'll get rid of the shadow. And so if you're, you're just going to sit on it. If you're Raven, what do you do here, man? What is the move? I look at Yeah, he tried to bait the, the scare about, and it was swung and missed. Okay, finally hit him. Okay, using that for the sand explosion. We got enough mileage off of this. We got another bar. We got two bars if I want to put another one out. Oh, what a call out with that command grab. And shadow again. Uh-oh, bad spot to be, although he gets the throw immediately, so out of there. Not going to be a factor, and now it's time to cook. Uh-oh, scary stuff in the corner here. This is where Spinal works, but Medium Linker gets broken. Get this on the screen. This is what saved him last time. That actually cut his ender short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it hit him out of it. Jump heavy kick. Wow, the cross up steals the corner. That's going to be ultra on this. Two. Oh, the it's time to do it just like that. He played so safe in that match. He played the best that you could possibly play around the Shadow Sandpit, abusing that Stinger, knowing that Raven was going to get stung, man. And it was just one of those things that Raven just dug himself deeper and deeper. Like, Has what do there you ever do? been like a better Shadow Pit? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. The other one was not nearly as good as this one. Yeah, I mean, like, he just sat on it and got like a bar and a half, basically, of his life off of it. I mean, it really worked out for him. I love, like I said earlier, Duel is really, like, first 
first prerogative is put a sand pit on the screen, and he's getting that done. Yeah. Dump heavy punch. Back medium punch just gets teleported out of, so. Oh, right into the Scarab. Does not take a combo off of it, and then just takes the reset out of the corner. Get the shadow. And now it's on you in the corner. You know he's going to want to teleport out. Yeah, which is what he and does. I wouldn't be surprised if Duel just backed off. Yeah. Yeah. All he the knows. way into it. Yeah, he's <laughs> he sitting knows, in the man. corner. Papa Squat, I live here now. Yep. I pay rent Come here. Come on in if you want. The water's fine. Just fine. Yep. I mean, he does have a life lead. Oh, miss oh on the overhead. Oh, my God. What a confirm off the Stinger, too. Raven was going for an overhead. The Stinger is saving him, man. Yeah, just sitting on the pit. He's like, why not? Teleports out. Oh, oh what a slide. slide. This is big now. Chance to work. Doesn't have to worry about it. Although, Sand Explosion is a threat. You do have to watch out for that, of course. Although, overhead connects. And the skull is bouncing on the screen. Extra bit of damage there. And Tierra again has been so good. Duel using that super oh, jump into counter breaker. Huge counter breaker on that to get the round two. And you could you could smell it, right? You knew he wanted to get out of there with and that. And get a sand pit out. Yes, sir. Yeah, that crush heavy kick. Just immediately pull up the sand pit. Gives you that extra mobility that which he just uses right away to get out. Reset on the command grab. Shadow's available, doesn't go for it, teleports out, but he has the scarabs, which get immediately deleted by that jumping heavy. Duel kind of backing off here, wants to get into an ideal range for his normals while scouting the teleport from Raven. Raven's just rushing him down. He's hitting all these scarabs out of the air with jumping heavy punch. Yeah, but Duel really hasn't challenged that much. He's been kind of just chilling. He's okay, yeah. just backing up, saying, all right, do what you want to do. Breaker on the light. That crouching jab. Oh, oh my god. god. What a call out the jump dive kick immediately saying, yeah, I know you want to go for it. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, that jumping, the standing heavy punch took him out of that. Nice, the recapture as well. Goes to the reset on the throw, but Raven with a break. Overhead. What a sand explosion there. Raven sitting on this instinct that we're going to see it pop soon. There we go. Teleport Soul Sword. Uh -huh. Very hard to break stuff into this vortex. Oh, oh. It was a little early, so it didn't actually have active frames left. Try to jump on Wake Up. In danger here. This is such a bad spot. The Shadow Command oh. Grab gets jumped, was wrong, and then he tried to break again. Little drop there for Raven is wrong, but it worked out here. And I, like I said, no 3 0. Not a 3 0 in this set. You were right about that. Now. Yeah. Yeah, Raven is so good at putting the pressure on people in the corner with the skulls. He knows when to take his liberty, and he knows when you're starting to get desperate. Duel tried to do that Shadow Command Grab because it's projectile immune. And Raven just held up. He knew. He knew. Yeah. He's like, I know this is what you're going to try to do, bro. Out of there. Easy peasy. Duel thinking about it for a minute here. Get some water. water. I don't expect to see any changes or anything. Just having a having a think, right? Saying, yeah. what didn't work out for me there? I didn't get, you know, 100% life basically from a Shadow Scarab. Maybe I should try that again. Right. Because things went right for the first time for Duel. He played immaculate basically in that match. He had a huge life lead. It's a very convincing win. Yeah. He's just vibing. I mean, even that game looked very convincing for him for a while, too. Just Raven pulled it out in the end there. Very impressive stuff. So we're back into it here. Loser side top eight action. Loser, this goes home in seventh place. Let the intros rock again. The way he pulls himself from the ground so is so sick, good. Man. Yeah, this character is so we're trying to back off, get that sand pit out immediately. Catches Raven early with a confirm off of the Scarab. And the lights after. The lights are sort of a my bad. When you get away with like a medium or heavy auto double, you're like, uh, maybe I do lights next. And someone's just ready to break it right away. Great break there. Gonna put these Scarabs out. Yeah, it has the pit too. Really Raven. nice. You can just spring off of it at any point or go for the sand explosion. Oh my Scarabs. That was so good. He was so aware of that teleport. He knows that Raven just wants in, and he wants it now. It's possible that Raven is losing patience here with these teleports. Ooh, scary whiff. He does have the sand there, too, so reversal is an option. And no meter for the shadow counter on that back medium punch. Oh, he punch. knew. What a call out on the sand explosion there from Raven. He's going to put a curse on Duel's instinct. That means that he will not be able to build instinct at all, no matter how much he gets beat up here in this corner. I know, and he was so close to getting it, too, which is such a big condition, right? On defense, you want that. Gives you sand. Sand pits basically all the time, right? It's the great thing about that instinct. Gives you lots of defensive escape options in movement and your sand explosion. Oh, caught the back dash. Duel needs to find a way out here. Get the pit out immediately. That is not breakable whatsoever. You get that out for free. Catches Raven trying to run away. Yeah, jumps in. Uh-oh. This is a big chance. Gonna waste out the rest of this instinct, too, on this combo. 
So Instinct no longer a factor here. Oh, the overhead. Man, that was brutal. Rough spot to be. Oh, and the shadow is just going to get deleted there. The shadow counter attempt. This is looking very, very similar to our last match here with Duel's just in big trouble. And Raven is just waiting for him skull. to do something. And the break at the end there, but he's in danger. And that's going to be the kill to a piece just like that. Help three bouncing skulls on the screen. Please just get me out. We're going down to a game, game five here. This is really where it's time to shine here. Duel needs to make the right choice because Raven has clearly adapted to what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Looking super confident. We'll see if it's back to character select to have a thinker if we're just going to go right back in for this uh, game five here. Decide to go right back in. Feeling okay. And I, I think that's a little bit of a sign. Yeah, more yeah. offense, right? Like, I don't want to just sit and wait. Maybe it's time to bring the, uh, the fight to Raven. I think that's not a bad idea. Oh, Jumping Heavy Kick gets just deleted right there. No mix up there from Raven. Duel did not tech that knockdown, so the overhead, he just wasn't there on it. Ooh, oh, perfect punish. Was ready for that teleport. Yeah, he's starting to scout them now. Same thing. Jumping heavy punch and an early lockout from Raven. He's going to fit the shadow in here. Oh, and he got the heavies after. Nice. Scare for Oki here. Oh, what's the air option? Doesn't matter. The sword just completely deletes it. Jump heavy kick. Punish. And the skull. Oh, tried for the break attempt. I like the idea. Maybe a little early, though. Oh no, scouted another Sand Explosion from Duel. Putting the pressure on here. And the Sandwich again, not quite the kill. Very close, looking for the plus frames. The throw from downtown. And Raven is raw now, up in the set. Has the lead here with that life lead. Oh, what a shadow counter on the slide. Will he get the kill on this health bar? Very nice from Duel. Damage Ender, right after the light manual. Get that pit out, get ready. Raven's running at you right now. Yeah, empty jump throw too, so big. Get the curse, slow him down a bit. Scarab's out, still has a pit, and he uses the new one just to get right in. Jumping heavy punch. To hit on that other side, we'll see. Takes a jump in, medium kick. Great block on the cross of teleport on his own Oki right there, was just ready for it. Uh oh, backdash oh, no. gets put by the skull. This is such a bad spot for Conrad, but has the instinct to get out. <gasps> what a throw tech right after the backdash. Yeah, Perfect goal. quick time teleport. Like the challenge, you have the tornado gets the throw. Oh, weird scramble there. Little jumping. Goes for the cross up. Shadow Scarab. Oh, and he dropped it. A little dangerous. Wow, I'm surprised that jumping heavy punch didn't hit for Conrad, but Spinal on Instinct now. Gotta watch Fly didn't activate teleport. Trying to pull him into this Scarab, trying to get some plus frames and get that offense started like he was at the beginning of this match. This That'll spin be. will cover that. Yeah, covered both sides. Really smart. This is actually very close to killing. Oh my god, the break. Jump in the skull from behind. Oh my god, this is about as close as it gets here. The slide takes the reset. The skull's gonna bounce back too. Double bounce blocks the overhead. The oh skull my god. Still. Gonna get him hit on the. <laughs> what a break! Yeah, that was gonna be over the recap. Oh my god! <laughs> it's time to do -da 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 duel with the amazing counter breaker. Gonna take the set. Three, two. Misses with the book, but not the rest. That was ridiculous. The recapture was unreal, actually. That was insane. The awareness to know that Raven was on top of that antlion. He snatched him right up. He knew he was going to try to move. He got the heavy man, and he went straight into ultra. He could have gone straight into ultra, but he did a heavy auto instead, and he was ready for the counter breaker. It was do or die there for Raven, man. Dude, that recapture was unreal. It was I insane. cannot believe the awareness to just do it full screen. Like, yeah. I'm about to hit you with this thing and then get the combo and the counter break at the end. Oh, that was sick. So we got Raven out at seventh place. Yeah, after that really close set he had earlier with wheels too for the uh, the semis qualifier. That was wild, man. It was super tough, man. These guys are killers in here. Okay, that was a pretty good set to not be 3-0, right? No, I'm pretty absolutely. happy that one went the distance after it was looking like 2-0 uh, for its time to duel. We were like, uh-oh, that's looking a little spooky going to be like that, though. We're going to take a look at the bracket here, get you guys all updated after our first round of matches in winners and loser sides. So we have our winner finals, Zombie versus Alex. Of course, Nikki and Bass both set down to losers. So we're going to have that base versus Sonic Dolphin set up next. And then on the other side there, Nikki now versus It's Time to Duel after It's Time to Duel took out Raven down to the losers bracket. So and we are back here at Combo Breaker Killer Instinct. We got loser semis here. We got Sonic Dolphin going up against Bass. Mm -hmm. in this and it's, it's one of those things too you start the bracket winner side top eight feeling pretty good you know you come down and you're like uh oh am i about to go winner top eight to fifth that's like the worst pipeline to be on of course so if you're base you're trying to be up there 
slow and steady, get the job done. We're going to take a look at the bracket here to get how we prepared this match. Of course, Sonic Dolphin, very impressive performance down there against Absolute Zero. Base, of course, lost our match up there to Alex V, which sends him down to losers' corners here. The other side, Nikki versus Time to Duel. Same kind of story, right? Time to Duel, very close set against Raven is Raw, we just saw. And then Nikki down 3-0 to Extreme Zombie, our first match of the tournament. So now these two titans of Killer Instinct, both base and Nikki, going to be in loser side trying to fight for that one slot in the top three. I think it's amazing that our winner's final side is really just not what a lot of people would have expected. These guys are maybe household names in the world of KI, but not so much when it comes to this stage. The Sonic Dolphins, the bases, the Nikki's, those are really the kind of players that people expect to see more. But we got two people who are certified online warriors in our winner's finals here. But we're down here in the loser's bracket right now. We're going to watch Kim Woo up against Spinal, base versus Sonic Dolphin. Oh yeah, an interesting one for sure. I mean, both these characters can smother, right? I mean, that's just their specialty. And I'm curious to see, it's, it's a lot about momentum. Obviously, Sonic Dolphin really wants to hold that mid-screen and uh, kind of play this back and forth, just look walking, just playing nice and slow and steady. If you're base, your, your idea here is disruption. You're trying to get in there and make weird stuff happen. You know, you're trying to get some pressure, get some skull offense going. You don't want to make things slow and steady where Kim Woo can just use her great pose. Yeah, base is stocked up on Skulls here, which is going to aid him a lot in this neutral. Gets an opening on Sonic Dolphin, gets the Curse's stack. He's in a great position here. Oh yeah, just commits to the Shadow because why not, right? Just get out of there. Big offense block on the Teleport. Uh-oh, ready for it. And the hit, no break on the doubles either. Just goes to the throw reset at the end. And he's going to leave that potential damage on base. And now he's just fishing for the opening, trying to cash it out. Wall spot under mid screen. I think there was an input error there from Sonic Dolphin. And base is going to get his instinct rolling right now. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. You can't just, like, you know, parry the projectiles, be fine with it because if there's that follow up behind, you got to be very careful. Oh, oh amazing shadow counter, shadow counter. And it's going to deflect the projectiles, too. So smart from Sonic Dolphin. He's going to get the kill here. No meter needed. Wrapping that up. Yeah, and we'll probably build an instinct pretty soon here on this life bar, which is nice. Might have a chance to use it instead of having Spinal just, you know, keep everything going. Man, gets hit on the overhead again. Oh my god, this That's is going to be so much because he's going to build the second bar. I think he's going to spend it all here, and yeah. I don't blame him. What is this, 70%? Oh yeah, he's almost dead 69. Off that. Next hit, I mean, kills here. Easy peasy for Sonic Dolphin, who just built an instinct as well. Pops it right away. Shadow Skull, but nothing off of it too. Base is in a bad spot here. All right, Skull does the anti-air for you, and then the backdash gets clipped, but Sonic Dolphin with a bit of instinct left and a huge life lead. Base going to put the pressure on here in the corner. It's not quite over until it's over, and now it's over. Oh, nice yeah. confirm from Sonic Dolphin. Very, very nice. That's something he has not been missing so far, right? The one-hit snap he confirms right into Ultra has not given a lot of chances for you to just guess break at the end there and then get out, you know, 30% chance of being right. You don't want any of that. You just want to, like, go for the Ultra and get the job done. Absolutely. You don't want to give anybody a chance to break, especially around here, man. They're going to come back on you in an event like this. Yeah, and Spinal, a character, when, when he gets momentum, extremely dangerous, too. So you don't want to allow that heavy link or heavy manual right after. And looking great so far for base. Oh, my God. What a dive kick there. Cool. That was a very, very short combo. Yeah, and then uh, just unfortunate mistiming on the overhead, which gives Sonic Dolphin a chance here. Man, these jabs just whiff and whiff and whiff and saying, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw you again. Throw you Why again? not? I Take wish you would teleport. Oh, my God. And perfectly times that counter hit. Another break on the heavy auto from base. Ooh, I like that jump a lot. And yeah, that was going to be unfortunate because of the dragon. Exactly. You're, you're trying to break the shadow and then you can just teleport at any point. You know, it's changed the timing a little bit there because of the dash and then you're going to get locked out. So good awareness from Sonic Dolphin. Base not wanting to teleport himself into the corner here. Just wants to keep the pressure on. He still has an instinct to pop here. And Sonic oh, yeah. Dolphin has one of his own. Which is a big factor here for both players. Yeah, pops the instinct. Allows you to uh, use the special move there as a manual, which is pretty good. And then there's the break. All right, base is not biting. Whoa. Two what a piece. dragon hurts. Kick. Big hard knockdown from Sonic Dolphin. He's still fishing for those reversals with that jab. Man. Oh, that's oh, an unfortunate lockout. This might be lockout. it. Yeah, I don't this think. is so much damage. Oh, it's so close though. 55% on that. And the meaty jab to clean it up. 2-0, the play is too clean from Sonic Dolphin. This guy shows out at offlines all the time, even when he doesn't have the online presence, man. He was top three last year. Top three. Man, very impressive. That was like just super clean play from top to bottom. Base popped his instinct and then just couldn't get anything going after Sonic Dolphin's defense and neutral has been, you know, extremely clean so far. 
He's been putting the pressure on base with a lot of non-committal stuff. The crouching jab, he knows that when base doesn't have shadow counter meter, it's time to party. Oh yeah, exactly. Just say, all right, I'm gonna take my plus frames. What are you gonna do about it? I, I'm just gonna get in there. Again, the challenge timing is perfect. Takes the throw reset and just says, all right, you don't have anything here. Easy peasy for me. Overhead connects again. No breaker. Oh, oh. he tried. Okay, okay. He's seen base try to break that a few times. Oh my God, wake up dash throw. It doesn't work out. Ball and Dolphin feeling frisky and break on the jumping heavy kick. All right, break again. Dolphin is, uh, he's kind of swinging here. There's been a lot of action. I think feeling confident with this 2-0. Yeah, that was a very good parry. It got him right out of that situation. I don't think Base believed he was going to pop his instinct there, but Sonic was like, oh, I assure you, I'm about to pop this and put this pressure on you. Oh, I don't know if he can kill here. Yes, I love that. He hit right off the wall. He got his manual. He did the damage. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to nice risk stuff. throw, not killing, right? So just said, all right, I'll spend some bar, which I think is worth it. And yeah, gets the kill there, too. Going to dump some of the resources a bit, build a skull there with the auto triples. Do it again. Easy peasy, get those resources. Tag extra skulls on there so that you can't build up your instinct and your meter. Speaking of resources, Sonic Dolphin's sitting on three dragons right now. We're going to see how he uses these in his pressure against base here. Yeah, which is very scary. It's hard to deal with. It, it, it changes everything about the character's pressure. You have to be very careful. Those dash cancels are a big threat, of course. Oh, a little oh, miss. Skull, that's going to be minus, but not minus enough to get a punish. Oh. Base got to confirm off of that. That was amazing awareness. So yeah, she just landed right on it. And man, I love the run cancel uh, manuals on that, too. Yeah, Breaker this time on the light kick. Oh, oh the controller. Not like this. Oh, you never want to see this, dude. This is super unfortunate, man. Uh -huh. I'm not entirely sure what happened with that one. I don't know if one of the controllers isn't updated. I'm sort of more unfamiliar with how the Xbox One S works. Not, not really sure how that works. I'm not, yeah, that's a great question. Uh-oh. Even the thing on there says, before we start, we're about to take a look at your controllers up there. Even it's like, all right, hold on, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's a great question. I don't know whose controller it was or what happened here. We'll have to see. Man, this is going to be such an unfortunate way. If it's base's controller, that's then, then, that's then it, right? Sonic like that is, that, yeah, yeah, such an unfortunate thing. So we'll have to see what it is. In, su in such a close set, too. I mean, like we were just, you know, getting down to the to the wire here. Base is starting to catch back up. And I'm unfamiliar with how this rule works because I know in some scenarios they make you take the match to avoid yeah. the yeah. Uh, the sportsmanship or whatever you want to call it, those arguments and debates and everything. I'm not really sure how this works. Yeah, generally that's how it is. If, yeah. if someone's controller pauses for whatever reason, you get the you get the round. It's usually how things go. We'll have to see what it is here. Uh-oh, what's happening? You said you could use my pad, dog. I got another one. We'll have to see what's happening here on the stage. I see there's like seven TOs swarming the stage, so somebody will figure it out. You hate to see it. Controller issues in the year of our Lord 2023 at Convo Breaker. Yeah, I don't know if that was a new controller that Sonic handed him. I don't know what, how they're going to handle this. I guess we're going to find out shortly. Yeah, we'll see which controller it is. I think it's the purpose of it is to see which controller pause, maybe, because that was what the extra controller was for. It's possible. Yeah. Looks like they're testing out their buttons here, seeing what's going to be going on. Yeah, we'll get an official ruling for everybody who is wondering at home, of course. You hate to see it. Yeah, this is the, literally the worst place to have this. Yeah. Okay, it, I mean, it looks like they might run it back. Will they, will they reset the score? We'll have to see which controller it was or what happened or anything. Okay. Ken's controller malfunctioned, so it'll take, take, take the game. So okay. Sound, okay. okay. It's looking like it's going to be... Okay, they swapped controllers, but it does look like it's going to be 2-0 Sonic in this situation. They decided to take the game. It was a controller malfunction, unfortunately. Okay, all right. We're back into it here. Damn, the offense for Sonic Dolphin, though. It says, all right, you got a new controller, bro? Try blocking Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What a catch on that standing heavy punch wow. into the heavy bone shaker. That parry was so good, too, man. Gets thrown out of the overhead, though. That's unfortunate. Sonic Dolphin challenging after that throw tech scenario there. Mm-hmm, a throw with the side swap, build a dragon. Really good spot here, too. Jab, light kick, keep it nice and simple. Oh, perfect, teleport. No confirm off of that standing medium kick there. Yeah, I like it, too, the reflect jump in throw, too. Sonic Dolphin just easy-peasy offense, looking super good here. Back throw at the round start. 
Goes for another throw too, and really smothering and making Spinal's defense that, you know, is not great to be honest, look pretty rough, right? Just yeah. Struggling to get anything going. Abusing these plus frames, he's hanging out inside of Spinal, standing heavy punch range. He's abusing it. Dive kick, trying to change the trajectory of the jump in there, making it hard for Sonic Dolphin to get a clean answer here. Yeah. Oh, and the whip punish on the slide was perfect too. Is there a break attempt? No. Face just lets it rock and then breaks the heavy doubles after. Oh, very rare shadow instantly punished with Dragon Kick by Sonic Dolphin. Yeah, just ready for it. Says, nah, -uh, I'm not going to let it happen while deep cross up the crushing medium kick just didn't reach after. Slide activate. Good spot to be well, if Sonic. you're Sonic Dolphin, though, because you're still chilling. Yeah, blocked on the overhead reset. Whip on the parry. Oh, that was dastardly. The skull made that combo, and this should be the kill. Got a lot to work with here, man. He's got skulls. He's got the last remaining instinct that's just running out now. But he's going to be able to put some pressure on. Oh, this Ooh, might be it right here. Very close to killing. Not quite enough. Base of the pixel. Doesn't choose to parry the skull to jump over. Anti-air is good. Although Sonic Dolphin with that activation. Oh, the teleport. Uh, I like I li the yeah. idea. Unfortunately, Sonic Dolphin had not committed to an anti-air yet. So that Shadow Teleport does not beat it. That is an unfortunate turn of events, especially with the controller situation. You have to think about how that messes up any kind of pacing or momentum that one of the players might have had as well. Yeah, that's what happens for sure. I like the idea too from base on the Shadow Teleport. You know, if you're unfamiliar, it, the idea was to beat whatever the anti-air attempt was, which makes a lot of sense. It's just Dolphin hadn't committed yet, had that time. And I think that was really good awareness, of course, not to overcommit to something big when you know your opponent can send it with something like that and then have a chance to maybe bring the game back. Yeah, you know, see, I mean, like, when you get into these desperate situations, you see players start to reach into their bag of tricks. Like, the the shadow that base did, that's sort of like an install, it gives Spinal three skulls instantly, mm -hmm. but it is punishable. Base is not a fan of using it, but you saw him use it. He's not a big fan of Shadow Skeleport. He usually backdashes their blocks, but you start to see these things come out from players more when they need to make something happen. Yeah, when, you're, uh, when your win conditions are dwindling, you know, you got to try some stuff because you're running out of room to wiggle. At some point, you got to take some commitments, and then that's what Base did, try to make it work. Didn't work out. So we see our next match set up here. Nikki, time to duel. This is going to be another match. Oh Loser of this, of course, going home with fifth place. Winner moves on to the top four of the bracket. Gets a shot at Sonic Dolphin before making it into the top three. So a pretty dangerous path ahead of you out there. Sonic Dolphin has looked so clean, by the way. He and has, I think man. the more normal the matchups are, the more like slow and steady, the better it's going to be for Sonic Dolphin. So you're going to want to play a character or a matchup where you ha he has to chase a bit more or he doesn't get to play as slow and steady. Yeah, he uses his tools to pace the match so well. He's so good at controlling the space, controlling the timing. And if you try to defy those things or not play his game, you eat a lot of damage. Kim's damage output is insane. She has oh, yeah. a one-frame parry. It parries physical attacks and projectiles it's a problem yeah super good it's a really really useful thing to have for sure and like the thing is not a lot of people i think are probably super familiar with kim she's not a super popular character either which can be a big factor very uncommon and we got nikki here coming up against duel i think they're trying to set things up you want to make sure you don't have any controller mishap here yeah so i wonder if that's what they're discussing here maybe trying to see if the controller's updated or yeah what's going sure. on here controller's not working They'll figure it out, of course. This is this is what happens when we're playing on ancient hardware, you know? Yeah, for real. Ar arcade retro hardware, this yeah. Xbox. <laughs> it's That's time. How it goes. KI's 10th year anniversary is this November. Yeah, it's pretty wild to think Insane. about, huh? That's what I was saying. Like, you know, even this online play is good 10 years later. It's wild to think that this, this game, which doesn't feel like it's that old, you know, is 10 years old. It had updates for a while, which helps for sure. Very much so. Yeah, for this matchup coming up with these guys, I know that Nikki came into this tournament with quite a few characters. Mm -hmm. I know he's oh yeah, always full gore, but he's got Idol. He plays Rash. He plays a little bit of Mira. Yeah. I don't think he's using Mira so much competitively here, but I think that the best bet that we're probably going to see here is full gore. You're dealing with a character specialist like Duel. Full gore is very, very, very good in that matchup, and I think it's probably what we're going to be seeing from Nikki here is going to be some full board. Yeah, which would make sense to me. That's kind of the character I think his comfort level is the highest on still, even after all this time, right? It's the character he's played the most. Absolutely. You cannot knock a player who has this much tournament experience online, yeah. offline for years and years and years. It's hard to beat comfort, I think, a lot of times for players. You know, even if matchups are better and stuff, your character struggles in a little bit in some ways. Like, just having that extra familiarity can be such a big factor. Yeah, and like with nine years under your belt, it's really hard because you're reaching like some sort of character grand mastery yeah so you're like the, you're impossible to counterpick basically you have to know the matchup just as well as they do 
Yeah, an interesting one too. It's it's a matchup where Fulgore can lean on his zoning uh, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> As we see them getting ready for the match here. Great match. I cannot wait to watch this. Fulgore versus Conra. It's like a throwback to season two, to oh, be yeah. honest with you. Blade Dash is a huge problem here for Conra. I mm. imagine we're gonna see this pressure. He doesn't want to let him set up whatsoever. Oh yeah, and you see that heavy laser is gonna be a big factor too. If you get hit by one, you gotta respect the next one, so. Nikki's putting these pressure on the plus frames. Amazing shadow counter from Duel. Nikki had to hit him with a check there, and Duel was ready. Oh, yeah. Anytime you have meter, that's a threat, right? So you got to be careful about that. Tornado just jab check from Nikki. Chase down with the air jump, medium punch, and overhead connect. It's such a good air to air for Fulgore. Back throwing into the corner here. Back throw again. Yeah, the mix up. Is it going to be overhead low throw? What's it going to be? Always got to guess. Left, right, too. Oh, what a catch on the back dash. Sand medium, get that sand pit out immediately. Duel does not have the life lead whatsoever to sit on this sand pit, so Nikki will probably not be coming over there. Yeah, probably just going to be doing some zoning, double fireballs. Yeah, gets stuffed in between. Got to be careful. Wow, teleports in that time. Works out. Jab check works too. Gets rid of the Scarab. Nice anti-air there from Duel. It is going to build up a little bit of potential damage on him, which he's going to have to be careful for. Yeah, and you'll eat that sand explosion if you're Nikki because that's, you know, damage on, on uh, Conra as well. So Absolutely. you're like, all right. Uh-oh, this is a little scary, though. Scarabs. Oh, yeah. my God, what a command grab. And he abandons the pit to go for a tornado mix-up. Ah, I don't know about that. That was a great confirm. That super is very, very fast, and it's strike, it's throw immune, but it's not strike immune, unfortunately. Yeah, and there's already that sending light kick already out for Nikki, so he didn't have to worry about it. Built a ton of meter, by the way. Through. Oh, that's a big whiff. And a breaker. He guessed on heavies and was right. Nikki's sitting on a really, really good amount of pips here. He takes the stinger last minute. Now, this curse won't carry over into this match, but Duel's going to trade places with him and sit closer to the pit. I think it was really smart of Nikki to just dash out of there, too, not sit on the pit so you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, we see the swap there. Shadow for the anti -air attempt with the Scarab to float over. Oh, that Scarab just disappeared in time for Nikki to start his offense. What a catch on the jump back. Ooh, he respected Sansplosion, and that gave the chance for Duel to just hit that crouching jab. Nikki backing off here, and Duel's trying to follow him. What a throw. This is going to be such a long curse for Nikki to deal with. It's going to make his blade dash punishable. Instinct pop from Duel here. Uh-oh. Immediate cash out. Not a lot of damage on this. Gets the set up a little bit. Tornado's out. Yeah, in the air-to-air -air after. Oh, pressure. That's good baits as well. So, Nikki in a little bit of trouble. We're going to see instinct here pretty soon as well. Probably Blade Dash Instinct or Teleport Instinct, something like that. Overhead whiffs, goes low. Ooh, what an overhead from Nikki. Not enough for danger. One chance. Oh, yeah. Very smart. Yeah, to use that immediate instinct so there was no chance whatsoever for you to get the breaker. I like that a lot from Nikki as he cleans up that first game. The Blade Dash, when it's used outside of a combo like that, the strength is so ambiguous. You really have to guess. And then, like you said, it just cuts the window, so it just makes it that much more impossible for somebody to break. Yeah, exactly. Really smart to clean things up there for Nikki as he gets the first game. Easy peasy. Very impressive there at the end. And, and Duel was doing a good job, I think, of throwing a lot of different looks at Nikki to make it a little bit more complex. But uh, he just held on there, played solid. We're back to character select very quickly here. And Duel, I, I'm curious. He's kind of hovering a little bit on this Omen. He does play Omen. It is really like his first character where he went over to Conra. He made a pretty crazy transition. Those are two very, very different characters. I'm not so sure about the pick. We'll see. Oh, he decides to go with Conra. Yeah. OK. Going back to Old Faithful, sometimes you just got to hover to make your opponent think about it, even yeah, if you're not thinking about you it. You're just like, well, man, maybe I'll pick Omen, wink, wink, nudge. Maybe. Right. Got to get in their head a little bit, especially when you're down one game here. This Killer Instinct top eight. Oh, Nikki catches him out of the air with a blade dash. Who's going to get a lot of frame advantage here to get something started? I love that the uh, Sand Splosion comboed into the uh, Scarabs. Yeah, Pretty funny right there. so sick. Ooh, amazing jumping light kick from Duel. Throw on the scarab. Surprised he was still in throw range, actually. Teleport in the front, goes for the overhead. Heavy manual gets broken. Oh, the blade oh, yeah. dash. He's already committed. Guaranteed. Pressure is on. Duel tried to back off there, but Nikki knew that. He threw out that forward heavy punch. Yeah, and the stuff there, not going to work out. Takes the break immediately into the wall. The splat, pretty good option to just do early and say, hey, am I going to throw? Am I going to fireball Linker? Oh, what a shadow counter. That's such a smart shadow counter. There's a lot of players that don't have the awareness to scout out that laser that way. Yeah, two hits. Any move that's multi-hitting in this game, it's a good option. I like that. There was no meter, so Nikki just going for the shadow blade dash. Oh, that's a punish. Nikki trying to keep the momentum going by stealing his turn, and Duel was ready for it. 
Oh my nice. god, that antlion recapture on the unblockable tornado. Yeah, unblockable setup right there. Nikki was just stuck in. But now, pops the instinct. Just vibe and shooting some lasers. Trying to chip Duel out. Nikki's been doing a great job at oh. making Duel abandon that sand pit. That was Pip Cancel DP. Just went the wrong way and gets the throw. Doesn't get the reactor spinning very fast here, but gets the round, which is important enough for Ricky. Got to get that life bar. Oh my, this is scary. Back throw into the corner. Oh, the throw worked out for Duel in that situation, and Nikki says, get off me with the DP. Yeah, I mean, it was a scary spot. Man, that teleport is so slow. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, Sand's on the ground, too, so you have to be careful about that, but Nikki teleported all the way back on top of it. Maybe it's one of those things It's hard to remember when it's off screen. Into the Sand again. This is like a repeat of what we saw at the beginning of the match. We're going to get a command grab off the wall here for the setup. We're going to get a Sand Pit? Yes, sir. Ooh, this is rough. The, and then, the nice thing for Fulgore, yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of escape options, right? So. You know, there's ways to get out of there and not really worry about it. And now that you're over here, you're totally okay to just do some blasts and some zoning. And yeah, has to abandon that sh the sand pitch. Oh, that is unfortunate. Sand pit was such a good spot to be, although gonna see it there and get the sand explosion. And Nikki pops his instinct. He's gonna start building up the pips here. Oh my God, great block on the overfed from oh. Duel. The shadow. We're gonna get a punish? Yeah, of course. Afterwards, ready for it. Went for the oh. immediate break, and Nikki just not biting on that. Gonna go up 2-0 in the set here. Man, I noticed that in this matchup, no matter how far away, no matter what life lead the duel has, it's really easy for Fulgore to just resort to chipping. Yeah. And it's really hard to get him to come to you even when you're on the sand pit. It's really like he has to abandon that sand pit every time. Yeah, that's kind of the problem is like Fulgore is totally fine with you trying to set up shop across the screen because he's like way better at it, right? He yeah. just starts shooting, using all of his lasers. Started shooting some fireballs, and he's just vibing. And he has good ways to escape, too. We saw the Shadow uh, Blade Dash get out of there as well. So he has lots of ways to just be like, okay, I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not trying to deal with this. And not a lot of other characters have the same kind of mobility and threats across the screen that Fulgore does. It's also worth noting he's good at destroying Scarabs with Blade Dash as well. Yeah. Yeah, not having to think about Scarab with Blade Dash is really nice. He's just it's not a factor in your brain most of the time. Ooh, Ooh, no chase down. Perfect. Love that. Yeah, that was really good to call out on the jump back Scarab. And until there's meter two, you don't have to really worry about... Wow, that DP. You don't have to worry about shadow counter or anything, too. So full work and kind of just hit forward, heavy punch and stuff. Wow, that actually made that whiff. You're kidding me. <laughs> yeah, Nikki is whiffing a lot of these light DPs, but Duel's just not there to punish a lot of the time. Oh, multi-hit low on the laser. Got a guess. And just waited for that instinct activation. That's a jab that got punished. He's trying to get something started here and make the most out of this instinct. Nikki has a huge life lead. Throws into the corner. He's trying to close this out. Ooh, heavy kick. Yeah, just gonna get the sting afterwards for the curse. That's a punish. Extra time. Throws and KI, they whiff hard enough, but when you're cursed, it's even worse. Oh, oh my yeah. god, into the scarab. Mm, I like that manualing right into the command grab. Has to guess here. Nikki makes it out okay. No shadow counter either in the throw for the life bar. Nikki looking on a 3 0 here over its time to duel. Oh, what a spin. It's just fast enough to beat Nikki's standing jab. Ooh, that's a button. Mm, okay. And the shadow didn't get rid of the scarab though. Nikki was content with just getting hit by that air scarab and just ruining that setup for duel. Yeah. Oh, jump in medium kick. The reset into command grab. Takes the sting after. Oh, oh. This, oh that could have been a punish, but gets away with it with the throw. Gotta feel pretty good about that if you're time to duel. You, you actually didn't really have to deal with much. Oh my goodness, the punish. Oh, and he's gonna get a lockout here. We're gonna see the shadow spin. Can we get a level four? And he's gonna get the sand pit into a stinger. Oh god, that was a big whiff again from Nikki and the Oh, that lockout oh, was huge with the drop. That was so crucial for Duel, but what a drop. And a breaker on the lights. Man, Nikki was just ready. Really good about guest breakers in, th in moments like that. Uh-oh. Another piece picked up. Instinct available. Start to build some bar, although not a great trade for Nikki there. And, come and that's grab. it. Into Ultra. Right into Ultra. No break chance possible. Time to Duel just ready for it. And honestly, what looked like a pretty dire game right there turned all the way around. Duel knew when to take that risk. I mean, that's the epitome of risk reward, right? That command grab was so risky to go for, but you know that you get command grab, you get to move them over the pit. Antlion recapture is not actually breakable. So as soon as he landed that command grab, that was game for Duel. Yeah, and it was a little kind of uh, a little kind of fast there, maybe for Nikki. Right, he's playing kind of scrambly, kind of quick. 100%. A lot of a lot of whiffs, a lot of weird things happening. So I think maybe that kind of stuff just uh, came back to be a big factor in the match. Double fireball, teleport in, ready with the punish though. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, Nikki is not having any of that, man. He's holding up at any opportunity he gets, it seems. Oh, didn't get the, the fireball there. Just jumps away. That's an anti-air, and the curse is on. Here's the sand pit. Will Nikki back off again? Punish. Yeah, because of that curse right at the end there. It was actually a factor. Duel trying to side switch him and push him closer to where the stinger is. And there he goes. He gets a command grab. He lands right on top of it. Nikki mm -hmm. could be in some trouble here. Just spitting over and over with the scarabs. Oh, and he uses the sand pit to approach. Nikki wasn't ready. Okay, blade dash hit. Overhead a little early. Ooh. That throw got baited, but no punish. Oh, Scarab trade, not so good. What is oh, this he interaction? Tried to hold the blade dash. He was holding on to it, hoping that he can get away with it, and no instinct activation overhead. Oh, what a break from Duel. The, the classic, the heavy auto double. Mm, commit on the sand explosion. Nikki still has instinct, though. Air to air, tried with the jump medium punch, still alive. Oh, oh my god. god, what an uppercut. Well, he just, yeah, he just goes for unbreakable damage there. I like it. That Wrap was it up. so good. Yeah, just use the triple fireball, and then afterwards, the blade dash even broke just in case at the end there. Nikki with the pixel. Oh my god. How long are you going to go on this pixel here? That blew up that crouching jab so bad, and he took about 30% of Duel's life off of there. Yeah, just got that scramble, and sometimes you get a little desperate when your opponent's on that pixel, and so, you know, you got to be very careful about that, but Time to Duel did a good job just vibing. Didn't overcommit too bad. Great hands here, though. Perfect spot. Duel's going to good. He's doing a great job of frame trapping in this corner. He knows that Nikki wants out, and he's taking advantage of that. Look Ooh. at this teleport attempt. Yeah, he just tried raw teleport. He said, get me out of there. Scarab not going to hit from behind. Ooh, the tricky stuff. Teleport, cross up. Yeah, he's just he's tricking him. He's like, which side? Left, right? Oh, going for the throw anyway. Instinct goes low. No challenge oh. right in the ultra. And Nikki going to clean up the set. Three to one with some really dastardly pressure at the end there. I think Time to Duel is just like, all right, is it left, right? Teleport, what, double teleport? And then the throws and stuff, you know, just mixing in some weird options that are tough to deal with. The other thing that Nikki was so good at in closing out that match was he was doing pressure that was so shadow counter safe. Yeah. He would teleport, teleport, he would teleport, wait. He was delaying his pressure and messing up the rhythm. So it's like, not only do you not know what side it's on, but it's really, really hard for you to use any of your defensive options, too, because of the way that he's pacing this pressure. Yeah, exactly. So you're just like, uh, what do I? And then you just get thrown, and then you're like, exactly. uh, do I just commit to this? And then you, know, you have to sit there and think. And that's what makes Fulgore so good, you know? He's one of those characters where it doesn't matter who you are. Like, he just throws the fireball, he does teleport, and you're like, well, all right, like, let's see what's going to happen. It's, it's super, super good. Yeah, you have to guess. He's got the overhead. He's got the laser. He's yep. got all kinds of mix-up options. Throw range is outrageous. We're going to take a look at the bracket here. Yeah, take a look at how we're doing here with our top four here at Combo Breaker. Zombie versus Alex B, which will be our next matchup on the stage, by the way. These two played in very hot, fiery sets at the very beginning of this bracket, obviously, to qualify for our winner's finals. And loser sent me down there, Sonic Dolphin, who's been fighting in losers all day long, up against Nikki, who lost that set to Zombie up there and kind of, I think, maybe even expected it himself, right? Knew he, that might be a tough uh, set for him to clear now in loser semis top four of the tournament the reigning champ down there so this is going to be a fiery set i think no matter what happens these two are going to bring the fire look at alex he's already bringing the fire he's yelling he's already hyped about it the handshake he's already. ready he's ready finals. man he's like yeah this is that dude we are those dudes right yeah. now that's what he's feeling like of course in winner's final top three of the tournament guaranteed He's yelling at this guy, trying to get him hyped up for his match, too. Here comes Extreme Zombie. I'm yeah, with it. Yeah. Feeling good about it, of course. And I think a lot of people know that both of them are really good, but they're like, damn, are they making Winner's Finals good? Or are they taking out Base and Nikki good? Of course, that's the answer. Winner's Finals. He's vibing up there. <laughs> feeling good. Ready to go. All that energy just exploding, just being like, yeah, I'm trying to game here. Alex has been having so much fun this entire tournament. He's been running around yelling. Even when he wasn't playing, he was running around here before Top 24 screaming, hyping people up. How are you supposed nuts. to beat someone who's having that good of a time? I don't know, man. It's hard to crush his spirit, man. Yeah, he's vibing. That is that is a nice feeling for sure. When you're just feeling good, win or lose, whatever's happening, you're running around the venue just having a ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Extreme Zombie is an interesting player, man, because he is playing Aria. We are familiar with Kron. Kron was second place at this combo breaker last year. But Extreme Zombie playing Aria as well, but with a completely different style. I'd argue mm -hmm. he has like a lot more of a defensive style. Very defensive Aria. He's willing to zone a lot more. He's willing to just sit behind his assist and protect mm -hmm. himself. And it's really, really interesting to watch. I'm really excited to see how these guys match up against each other. 
Oh, yeah. And we'll have to see, too, because, you know, we saw a rash attempt earlier, right? But obviously not a rash main, you know, from Nikki. So this is going to be one of those things where it's a little different. We get to see someone who's really comfortable on the character uh, going against it. So I see they're setting their buttons up there, getting ready to go. Obviously going to be a juicy match. Two very strong competitors, two very strong characters as well. Yeah, we're rash and Arya. We're trying to see who's going to make it into the grand finals here. And like I said before, this is a match that Alex has a ton of experience against. It was not uncommon to see Alex v. Chronicle grand yeah. finals of every online tournament. Like for the past two years, it was not uncommon to see that. But I'm not so sure about how he matches up against the different play style of Mario with Extreme Zombie here. Yeah, it's true. And it's also the same thing with Aria, where like bad things happen to that character sometimes. You know, she just kind of explodes. So the momentum of someone like Alex V just running you over can be a big factor too. We didn't see earlier, you know, Nikki really get a chance to go That's when so he was true. playing in this matchup. But if you start to steamroll this character, she can have some problems. It's when she's in control, she is a nightmare, right? But when she's not, I mean, her light bar can just explode. Uh, that's so true. I think that's worth mentioning that we didn't really get to see this character really lose her tools over time and really get run over. It's possible for Ari to get touched with a counter breaker and lose the entire body. Yeah. The health bar is gone, like 80%, because 80% of her body, that's a different story with three health bars. Yeah, she has the same health as all the other characters. It's just split three ways instead exactly. of two bars, right? So that, that's just a big factor for her. Exactly. Exactly. Ooh, they're getting ready here. Set up. Characters pick. Choosing the stage. Winners finals here of Combo Breaker. Locked and loaded. Got Rash versus Ari on the screen, of course. Alex V. Zombie. And we're right here into it. Start off. Run up for the boot. And a throw whip all the way to the corner with that Wrecking Ball Ender, which is something that's really strong about Rash. Look Alex. at the damage already. This is what I meant. I, we really did not see Zombie on defense very much in that first set. Yeah, and Alex took that immediately. Let's see if Extreme Zombie will get something started here as well. Early lockout, but ends too early to capitalize on it. Ooh. Empty jump throw. Yeah, a lot of things to think about here, of course. The float mix-up goes low off of that. No break chance yet. And there it is, the one chance Alex guessed and guessed wrong. Oh Blow my god. Overhead this time into the splat, into the shotgun knee. So hard to guess what it's going to be. And again, has the guess, goes low. Oh my god, the bike took him right out of there and he tried to return to the corner to get the punish. Punishes that down DP and gets a lockout. He could end this life bar right here. Oh yeah, this is the kill for sure. Damage ender on that and cleans it up. So pretty even in life actually overall. Extreme Zombie possibly looking for a hit here to end the life bar, but he could also confirm an instinct and a shift Swap. to zoning here. Yeah, I noticed the zoning and then immediate instinct activation is really common here for Zombie. It's something that he does a lot, yeah. Swap, so now you have the Blade Body DP, and this is really scary. You have high lows, plus he's tracking assists. It's really hard to deal with. Goes low that time. Shadow Boot. Oh, the what swap. a body what switch! A punish when the matchup knowledge right there. Overhead after. Blinks again. Oh, this is bad. The damage on this. So spooky, he even had another chance to guess and he was wrong. 50% on that. The cart. Oh, the, the assist, assist call. Oh my, the match of knowledge from Zombie is unreal right there. The fact that he knew to switch bodies in that situation is going to be such a scary mind game to present to Alex V because Rash players love to make you block that Shadow Boot and Pop Instinct, but if you're not there to block it, then you're going to get punished for free, even if your opponent has instinct. That was such a crazy good call out from Extreme Zombie. And he, I mean, he had the ins he had the, the assist down and everything. Yeah, that was super smart. And I mean, this is what we're seeing right here. Just super clean play, jump over chance. And yeah, we saw Alex, he had offense last time. And then as soon as Zombie escaped, it just, it was over, right? Like he just controlled the rest of the match. The pace was too hard to keep up with. And yeah. Wrong there on the strength of the horns. Maybe looking for a throw on the wall splat. Looking very similar to the start of the last match here with Alex V and all this corner pressure against Extreme Zombie. And that actually made that reversal whiff. Alex, her box was not there. And he takes that first life bar clean. Yeah, hugely now for Alex. Looking great. Swap, we see the zoning body again. Zoning body into instinct. That's what we're going to see every time Zombie with the DP here. And the knees out. Looking low. Overhead there. Gets the combo off of it. Oh, try to break medium. And then ended up just getting a kick out of it. You'll take it sometimes. Oh, the Cossack? Yeah, heavy. No Big break. Wall splat. And a corner carry on the Wrecking Ball Ender is humongous, too. Double boot, triple boot, quadra boot. And there's the break. What a catch there on the low from Extreme Zombie. And again, he ended his combo early, so he did not get to capitalize on that lockout. Mm -hmm. 
shotgun knee pressure. Goes in for the overhead. Gonna link. And also, oh my, you also have the assist there for the extra damage. Yeah. This should be the kill. Oh yeah. I like the spending of the bar there. He knew. He recognized the lockout. Extended the combo. Nice work. Yeah, back to zoning body. Who calls the assist. Yeah, so it makes Alex kind of stop in his tracks. Although, has instinct available here. So, uh, gonna be a big factor here. Call the assist. Oh, the cart. This is big now. That's a huge lockout. Spends the shadow. Gonna get as much damage as he can. He's in chip territory, basically, on this body. Alex nice. goes for standing fierce in the shadow boot, spending the bar to cash out. He's yeah. got a little bit of instinct here. Uh-oh, scary though. Arya has instinct now. She's got just a pixel of life, but that's a scary spot for Alex still. Shadow DP, it's gonna miss, so no chance to pop, and that's a game of peace just like that. Oh. <laughs> Alex screaming over there about throwing that Wrecking Ball. He so perfectly spaced that Wrecking Ball, so it was so awkward to punish. Extreme Zombie tried to challenge with Shadow DP, and Alex was not there. Mm -hmm. He's not there, man. Man, he's flying around the character select screen. Obviously, you're not going to see a change here, but he is hyped. Like, you could tell the adrenaline through the roof feeling good. Game of peace here. That first game was looking a little scary, but Alex looked super confident in that next one. And that's what I'm worried about for Zombie. When he has control, he looks super good. But the minute things turn around, that can be problems, you know? Yeah, he's very momentum-based as a player. When things are going right, they're going right, like you said. But Alex has been the one who's been showing that he can get uh, early oh hits like this God. on Extreme Zombie. Getting a huge counter breaker. Not going to be enough to kill, but it's going to be a huge chunk off this damage. Yeah, didn't have bar for Shadow, which could have been the difference in that killing or not. Drake on the medium doubles, even though just got counter broken. Floats to the other side. Great block from Alex. Extreme Zombie trying to get some space here. Oh, that's a bad trade for Arya. She does not want to eat these Wrecking Balls. Runs in and then jumps back to bait it, actually. I like that option. Look at this. Alex V just really smart. I like not the overcommitment, although trade on the assist, Shadow Boot. Oh, that is a rough lockout. It could have been way worse, actually, just waiting out the instinct there. Alex V, huge momentum. The overhead representation from Alex V in this tournament has been pretty insane. Even if they don't land, case in point, Extreme Zombie breaks immediately. Yeah, and that body, this booster body is in big trouble here. I mean, I think just Summons it and immediately gets smoked with a heavy kick. This is a chance for Alex B to extend all the way with the triple boot each time. Take that extension. And now if you're a zombie, this is a rough spot to be. Your body's down. Swaps over to zoning, but we haven't really seen a lot of momentum with this so far. Oh, almost Omar through on the Wrecking Ball. And he has to watch that assist call as well because it's so close to being dead. Oh, he yeah. could get hit stray and Alex could actually kill it before Extreme Zombie gets a chance to use it. Shadows, yeah, it doesn't quite connect on the landing frames there. Oh, my wrecking ball in and break on the juggle. That's a big one. Alex B still in the first life bar. Doesn't even have instinct yet. Huge lead now. Zombie trying to make something happen. Alex Calling looks like he's assist. just trying to time out this instinct. He just doesn't want to deal with it. And he oh, the does the pelvic thrust at a time like this? Taunting in winner's final just says, yeah, why not? I'm just vibing over here. Doesn't even lose the first life bar. Instinct pop hits. On the cart, there's the lockout. That's going to be the kill on the body. One more body for Zombie. This is arguably the best one for Arya to have left. It's got, oh, never mind. And just <laughs> eats the horns. 2 1. Alex V here in our winner's finals, and he is feeling good. Alex taunting in the neutral is insane. Yeah, just start thrust and say, why not? What are you going to do about it? And now like, if you're Zombie against the ropes here, just thinking about it. This is the first time you've seen Zombie not have control of the match, and it's been a problem. I like that Zombie, like, he's so good at scouting out those confirms in the neutral against Alex. I mean, like, you're not going to get away with the taunting against him, but, I mean, it wasn't enough for him to get that match. Alex knows what's going on. He has to be, this has to be one of his most comfortable matchups. It has to be. Yeah, he looks super comfortable here. Even after that first, first uh, game didn't go fantastic, man. Heavy kick into the confirm. Corner carry on the horns, and oh man, Wrecking Ball for the wall splash is so good. Boop makes it whip. DP just doesn't land, and that's a, re a really rough spot already. Look at how much life he's lost. Just clean jump in, break on the horns, but you oh my need something gosh. real soon here. Already popped instinct. He's trying to save that other body. This is going to put three health bars on the line, but it's going to make that third body health bar tick so much slower. Mm -hmm. Only the one assist right now. Yeah, a little bit of zoning. Trying to get in behind it, and Alex B just gets hit airborne. Doesn't matter. Wrecking Ball, not a trade you want as Arya. He's hurt. so good at shutting this instinct down and really just... Oh, big whiff there from Extreme Zombie. 
Optimal punish from Alex. Are we going to see a throw? Battering ram. Mm, and a break on the heavies. Oh, I like that. Calls the assist, brings in this body. This body is about to be chipped anyway. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. I think he was just willing to sacrifice it. He was okay with it going down because you don't want that much damage on this sword body. Sword body is the clutch one. You need this to try to bring the comeback, but... Oh, he could have got a confirm off of that standing heavy kick early break from Extreme Zombie. Yeah, he knew the heavy kick was coming. Break again, two in a row, heavy kick and then light kick. Ooh, he was right for a second with the shadow counter, just slightly missed time. That shotgun knee has almost no block stop. Very hard to shadow counter. This should be the life bar for Extreme Zombie. Mm-hmm. Man, scary though. Alex B sitting on instinct now. Oh, God, the jump over. In the oh God, my breaker. God! He, he's done it so many times so far. He knows he's gonna dump the shadow on this. Extra damage. That body is bleeding 77%. Extreme Zombie. He's got his instinct. He's got one bar, and he's got a dream right now. I Alex love B. Alex B just running away too. Look, just not engaging. Has instinct. There's the cart. Gotta be careful here. Zips in the horns after Shadow on the boot. That'll be do a recap. It. Oh my god, the run up to bait the break attempt and gets Extreme Zombie to lock out. That's, that's it, it. And that's the kill. Alex V, the 3 1 here in winner's finals of Combo Breaker. Just dominating and flying around the stage. Oh, yo, nobody at this tournament is having more fun than Alex. Hell no, it's especially not, not no in the finals. If you're having that much fun and you know, you're in pools or whatever, but if you're having that much fun winning in winners finals, I mean, you're having a ball. He is gaming. Guaranteed grand finals of Combo Breaker and I mean, who's going to stop him at this point? I'm not so sure. We're going to have to take a look at the loser side to find out. I'm not so quite sure who's going to make it up, but Extreme Zombie has dropped down into a very scary loser's bracket. Oh, yeah. Very I mean, scary. Obviously, he did really well against Nikki earlier, but we'll see if he's even going to get the chance to play against Nikki. Obviously, going to be up against Sonic Dolphin in our loser semis. It's going to be the match for top three. So let's take a look at the bracket to make sure everybody knows where we're at here. Catch up with everything. Obviously, Alex V with an extremely dominating performance, making it 3 0 and then 3 1 into grand finals. Extreme Zombie waiting for the winner of our next match, which is Sonic Dolphin and Nikki in loser's semis. And it's been so many times. This is so typical for these two to share the Combo Breaker stage. Welcome back, everybody, to Combo Breaker 2023 Killer Instinct Top 8 action. We are down to top four of the bracket stage. I'm joined by the lovely Charbok. How are you? What's going on, man? I'm having so much fun watching this. I've been up watching the top 24. This crowd is behind me going insane. I think everybody is here to watch the namesake of Combo Breaker, which is Killer Instinct. Oh, this yeah, every time best. I hear it in there and I hear co 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 breaker and all these other lovely things that for this tournament, it always feels fantastic. It hits different on this stage, it I does. have to say. We're going to take a look at the bracket, of course, see how things are looking. Delicious matches we've had so far. Sonic Dolphin up against Nikki. That's our loser semis that we're going to be having next. And, I mean, I'm really excited for this. Sonic Dolphin has looked immaculate in loser side so far. But it's been a lot of matchups where, you know, he gets to control the neutral and just kind of vibe out. This is a character that's a little bit more of a chase. You know, it's not so easy against Fulgore. Makes things kind of scrambly, a little bit more difficult for Kim to just sit there and kind of use her great normals. 100%. I mean, these guys, this is so typical, I was saying before, of these guys to be fighting in this top eight. Mm -hmm. They have fought in this top eight every year. And you have to also remember that the Killer Instinct World Cup Finals was Sonic Dolphin and Nikki. Mm -hmm. In that match, he opted to go with Kilgore to go up against Nikki, who was our World Cup champion, but he's going with Kim this time around. We're going to see how this match plays out for us. Nikki's starting off with some zoning. It's oh, a very yeah. close range fireballs. It's kind of hard for Kim to commit to parries at this range because it's so much harder to react when Fulgur is throwing from this range. Oh, what a I like that. Yeah, that's really smart because you don't know which side he's going to be on, right? So you just do it, input it. Either way, you're going to be okay. Has a shadow here for the extension to get to that level three. Takes the splat afterwards. Oh, and the delay the beats the throw. I like that. And the counter breaker attempt knows that Nikki likes to break early and often. I'm trying to go for a mix up here. He has to be wary of that parry, just as I was saying. And Sonic Dolphin lets it rip. Nikki going back to zoning, trying to see if he can get this life lead back. This is going to be a battle of attrition for Sonic Dolphin. Mm. He gets clipped by a blade dash. Yeah, third time's a charm right there. Just does a couple of them and then finally goes with the blade dash after. I like that option. Parry wins. Really good spot. Nikki on instinct, so you have to be a little careful if you're Sonic Dolphin here. And the Shadow wow. defeats the DP. I love it. And the juggle 
no chance to break. Really smart there on the pressure from Sonic Dolphin. Such an offensive, defensive option for him to just blow up Nikki's reversal like that. Ooh, look at the confidence. Not the break and the counter break. Right back at you with Shadow to spare here from Sonic Dolphin. Look at the damage on this. The pace that Sonic Dolphin is playing at right now is absolutely perfect. He's baiting out everything. Didn't have the meter to Shadow counter that. He's going to eat a throw mix up here from Nikki. Oh, he shoots the dragon. The dragon. And then changes it up. Nikki really smart to not keep up the break, but this is gonna be damage ender. No, chooses the splat. Goes for the overhead, and it oh could have been a right into ultra. Doesn't matter anyway. Game one, very clean there from Sonic Dolphin. Sonic is so good at picking his spots in the ranges that Nikki is trying to fight him, and Nikki wants him to be in that range. He wants to throw fireballs and stuff, but Sonic is just good at picking his spots and hanging out in that range as well. Yeah, that was really cleanly played. It was basically everything was done perfect, you know. I mean, Sonic Dolphin, super clean on that. Offense was really clean. Neutral, very patient. Very rarely got clipped by random stuff. And I have to say, Nikki tried to kind of make the pace awkward for Sonic Dolphin to deal with, but didn't really work out there. So thinking about some other characters here, deciding on something else. Maybe thinking about this rash, but Fulgore, I feel like, was such a good, it's, you know, it's a solid pick in the matchup. It's just things didn't work out well in that first game there. Yeah, so we see the switch back to Fulgore. Sometimes going back to characters like taking a breather is good. Stage, you know, a little stage change. Mm -hmm. Take him to the volcano. Volcano. Yeah, it's just. Oh just my oh God! My, Nikki see? definitely tried, tried to break that. He tried to break. He tried to break that. One hundred percent. Oh God! That pressure just gets stuffed right there. This is great. You get a free throw. Yeah, they're locked out, so they can't break. Nice catch on the low there into this corner pressure. Going to get a DP there. Sonic Dolphin looks like he might be trying to hold up. He wants out of here. Oh, and nothing after no parry or anything? Okay, going to take the throw. Ooh, and back throw on wake up. This is a mix up for the round for Nikki. And I love the teleport in place. Really smart not to overcommit on any offense. And look at this huge life lead for Nikki. Oh, the overhead placement again from Sonic Dolphin. He could have got such a huge capitalization on that. Oh, and tries it. Yeah, love that. Sonic Dolphin just not biting on these. And a media wow. break for Nikki. Same thing as last time, actually. We saw that exact sequence, although Sonic Dolphin counter broke. I am surprised that Nikki broke that, because that sequence was almost a repeat of last time, like you said. Yeah, but the surprise is why it works, right? You're just like, you know, way he'd break again That's here. That's right. Who air dash had to get over the triple fireball. Shadow right through, and the Shadow teleport. And has Sonic. A perfect answer. Sonic did try to dash there, but that blade dash still covered it. It wasn't enough to get him out of trouble. Ooh, Dragon Kick hits, chance for offense. And the throw again, man. Second time Dolphin tried to walk back out of that and just couldn't get out of range. Oh, oh that was a huge DP whip, and Nikki breaks that Dragon Kick again, man. Uh huh, walks up. He was up. right on the heavy, too. Oh my, forced off the Dragon. Man, gets another one back to the instinct, but gotta feel pretty good if you're Nikki. Wow, the mix up back to the front because of the dash on the shadow. Yeah, he oh. knew that his reversal was gonna whiff overhead again. Yeah, and the break there from Nikki. Lots of pressure. There's no shadow counter yet, so now there's shadow counter available for Nikki. So you have to be careful if you're Sonic Dolphin. Oh, oh my big. god! And he knows the commit to that this time. Nikki Ooh. breaks the shadow instead. That's a scary break too. If you break and it's counter broken, you're dead. One chance here, and he's right on that one chance. Walk and block. Can find his opening here. Lots of chip damage on this. Sonic Dolphin doesn't have too long until this is chip shadow, and it's enough. I can't believe that that one chance that Sonic Dolphin had to break the blade dash that he chose the correct strength. He's he even was guessing right. correctly. And I mean, it was scary there too because there was one one of the breakers earlier where if Nikki was counter broken, he probably would have died off the hit. So Absolutely. There was a couple of chances. That could have been 2-0 either way, but it's been a close set teleport off the meaty fireball. And we're seeing Sonic Dolphin represent the parry against Nikki zoning more, and this is where Nikki's going to try to move in, and it's going to get way more up close Ooh. and personal. Bait of the throw, didn't get a full punish. Overhead reset, takes the splat on the wall. Lots of pressure here. Of course, the cancel is available, so why not juggle off of this? Is there a break attempt? No. So we get lots of damage oh on this. My oh my god. That he could have definitely killed. killed. Yeah, it was gonna if there wasn't a breaker here. Chance now for Nikki. Parry dash cancel, and there's the DP. It hits for Nikki. Just gonna take the fireball juggle. Nikki might take a big risk here, especially because he's got no life left. Oh my. Oh, Sonic with that dragon kick. Yeah, try to get in there. Shadow's available, doesn't go for it. Stuffed with the immediate dragon. Take another one, why not here? So a couple of dragons for Sonic Dolphin. 
a very close match so far. Just goes low, dash cancel after, and Nikki ready with the back dash punish. Oh, shadow hits. What a dragon cannon, and he gets the dragon kick. He's gonna get a knockdown off of that overhead just a little bit too early, and Nikki Ooh. was able to get out of there. He picks the combo up, and this is gonna actually build him up some pips here. Yeah, nice little delays on each one of these, so you get that extra reactor speed. Bottom right, you can see that thing is spinning right now, so yeah. Nikki gonna be building a lot of pips on that. Spend some immediately overhead out of range. Charge fly, blade dash. Oh my, back dash got smoked. Is there a break here? Doesn't go for it yet, and breaks on the light doubles. Sonic staying patient here, never mind, goes for the reversal. No follow-up with the Dragon Cancel either. Yeah, I think saving it for when it's blocked or something, right? Doesn't doesn't want to use it too Absolutely. offensively overhead as a reversal. Nikki with a chance here, no break on the medium doubles. And just stays in place, teleport laser again. This chip is on the verge of building up Sonic Dolphin's instinct also. Oh, shadow right through, yeah, of course. The shadow there from Nikki has all the pips available because of that instinct. Spin speed. Kind of grinding to a halt, though. Dragon works a little too far for anything meaningful after the dragon this time. Nikki's gonna have to guess the. Oh my God! Breaker. What a counter breaker! This That's gonna be the kill, it. just like that. Double shadow, Sonic Dolphin up two one here in our loser semis. He's playing these situations so well, and he's adapting with the adaptations of Nikki. He's doing so well and picking his spots. And notice he didn't put any counter breakers out there for a while. And the one chance that he gives Nikki right there, he's like, all right, I'm immediately going to do it. And her damage output is so high. Oh, that's a big punish. It's very scary when you get locked down and she has Shadow Gauge. And this is such a tough character for you to rush down with Fireball mix up when she has the parry that she does. That's actually punishable. That was a great jab punish from Nikki. Wow, I love the, the uh, heavy double, the heavy triples rather. And then he just goes to the light after Dalton ready for the break. Jump back, yes, you, you know, looking for the teleport in, of course. Oh, wow, got a couple of dragons for free there on the laser, love that. I wonder if Nikki will start to scout. Yeah, there he is fishing for the hit. He wants him to try to parry another dragon kick from Sonic. Oh, the death forward was so smart on Oki, knowing that jump heavy bunch was coming. Shadows out, spends it for the juggle this time. It goes, man, immediate breaker. Oh, got hit. Unfortunate there for Nikki. The juggle here. Is there a break attempt? Doesn't go for it. What an overhead that actually crushed that low normal there. Will Sonic break? Yes, he does. Dragon kick? Yeah, the so snipe. Smart. And there's no chance to break because the next hit killed. That was so smart from Sonic to scout that out of the air. He picked the perfect strength of the dragon kick. Yeah, they all cover different angles, which is really useful for her, of course. And plus frames here. There's no uh, shadow counter yet for Nikki. He doesn't have the pips. Oh, Shadow, that's gonna whip. Oh, that's oh. got the length of punish. Oh, gotta watch for the counter breaker. Exactly, and that Nikki was, was ready. Call. Perfectly scouted. Nikki really smart not to break there. I wonder what Nikki's gonna be trying to look for here. He's probably gonna be trying to back off. He's trying to formulate a plan here. He does not have a lot of pips to work with, and Sonic Dolphin seems like he's really in control. Mm -hmm. Wow, I am so surprised that actually beat it. But now, Sonic Dolphin sitting on a dragon, just walking Nikki down. You gotta be careful for that dragon release. Or the dragon kick, miss the juggle, and the DP whiffs too. Scary spot for Nikki, not a lot of life to work with here. Stuff, that's a punish. The shadow comes out, double shadow. Oh my god, chip territory. Nikki Nikki's with the pixel and a dream, what's it gonna be? Gotta be careful. That's huge. Oh, oh my god, the dragon. On the way to send Nikki, our champion, out of the tournament, Sonic. Dolphin in the top three here of Combo Breaker. This is repeat for Sonic Dolphin. I really think that he has a tradition of making top three at Combo Breaker, whether he's third place or grand finals. But it's possible we could see him come all the way back and take this one. He's in a position to do it. It's got to be a tough opponent up next. Of course, though, obviously, you know, we saw Alex V look really, really strong against Zombie earlier. But Zombie is a force to be reckoned with. And there's so much control in that character and neutral and stuff. So we have to see how it's going to work against Sonic Dolphin, who looked very impressive. We're going to be taking a look back at some of those uh, highlights from that match in a second here. But, man, what a set play from him. Just really impressive stuff. Yeah, this reversal, his reversal timing was amazing. The dragon kicks that he put out on the neutral was incredible. He was able to wall splat and go for a lot of reset attempts in these situations. The overhead placement, it's like he did everything at the right time, like you were saying earlier. Yeah, I love the dash there, too. Just really good awareness in so many of these moments. I love the shadow on shadow. 
Nikki very smart right there to get out. I mean, just a lot of really key moments where the character matchup knowledge for both of them was really impressive. The chip sequence here for Nikki to get that second game. And Dolphin, I just so patient and neutral. I'm really impressed. In a game like this, it's very easy to get frustrated, right? I mean, especially if you're a character like Kim Wu, who's got to do a lot of walking and blocking, waiting for other characters to commit to stuff. And just, oh, the clutch counter breakers. Really smart about when he brought them out against Nikki and just did a great job of choosing when to dump the meter and when not to. And like because Fulgore is so projectile based, like I was saying before, it gives him such a tough time when you got to deal with this parry. We're gonna go uh, take a look over at the bracket here in a second. Yeah, the reflect here at the end with the dragon. Oh, brutal! Oh, and the taunt. I did not yeah, see the that. Taunt was right at the I end actually there. did not yeah. see that. He knew. He was like, all right, I guess you're dead for that. Just he throws up the knee, but it's gonna be zombie here and dolphin. Our losers finals of this bracket. No base, no Nikki, and top three. Pretty wild to think about here. So winner of this gets a chance against Alex V, who looked incredibly strong in our winner's finals. And I'm looking over at the screen right now. It actually looks like Sonic Dolphin might be thinking about going with Kilgore. Yeah. Looks like he's thumbs up. He's good to go. Yeah, I don't blame him because I think a matchup like this is Kim. You know, the neutral, probably not the best for you. You have trouble dealing with that area of the screen that uh, Arya is just going to be hovering in, right? So. Makes a lot of sense to me. Kilgore, a little <laughs> bit more damage. High one chance potential character as well, too. A little now, bit more control of the screen. Now, we were talking about rare picks before. This is an extremely rare pick. You really never see Kilgore, but when you do see it at this level, it is from Sonic Dolphin. Yeah. Referring to the grand finals of the Killer Instinct World Cup. I love seeing this character. I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to play out. Yeah, this is our loser's finals here at Combo Breaker. Top three action. See how it's going to go early hit. Just lots of offense here. And a lot of damage on that, too, already. And both those hits just rolled out on Wake That up. metal ball looked like it crossed up as well. And I definitely think that was not an Extreme Zombies bingo card. Like, I'm going to get crossed up while I have somebody in the corner. It was definitely not. This is a nice cash out here, though. Damage is pretty solid on that. Activates. And then, yeah, out. Uh-oh. This, this is where you start to cook is Kilgore. Yeah, look at the damage on this. It's going to hurt. Just a grip of life on Arya. The pressure is on here. I don't know if he's going to try to represent the shadow counter. He's trying to catch the back dash. He fishes it out with the shadow, gets the lockout, and takes the health bar. Yeah, you just get deleted by this character, especially in Instinct. There's lots of really high one chance uh, scenarios you got to watch out for. It's super dangerous and just, yeah, checking. Building up the heat a little bit here. Dream Zombie looks like he's trying to zone him back, but he just rushes in with the metal ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you build up the heat, metal ball in, right? It's not a bad look for Kilgore. Especially if you're not ready to shadow counter. It does hit two times. That zoning is going to be enough to cash that out. Yeah, very nice. I mean, you know, it's funny. Sonic Dolphin's heat was so high that the, the gun just didn't hit. Yeah. So you'll just take it. It's just a complete whip. Oh. Gives you a chance. Oh, shadow Ooh, here. Wow. That actually was such a good call out there from Extreme Zombie, and he had the instinct to back it up. Yeah, he was just ready. Shadow talk on the... Okay, this is going to be the activation. Instinct here backs up, plays it real safe. Oh my god, that worked! That metal ball was crazy! Yeah. But he oh. drops the combo and Extreme Zombie's gonna get the Shadow DP. Yeah, big call. Ooh, that's a punish too. Really bad. This is hard to break here, although there's a little bit of a drop. Sonic Dolphin with a chance here. Uh oh. This is really dangerous. Go what for it. a counter breaker. This guy is psychic with these breakers today. Yeah, and that's gonna delete so much life on this body. That'll do it. So one body left here for Zombie. Sonic Dolphin with a bit of instinct left. Oh my god, he but closed the gap up. so fast. Yeah, he's so quick in this body. You have that extra movement, but that was very spooky. You're gonna spend the shadow. Little bit of damage does not do much. Yeah, you saw only that 7%. Links the knee. Oh. oh, that's huge. Not a big starter on the punish, though. And break on that heavy is, oh my dash. <laughs> Sonic is really going to have to be careful of how fast the dash is in this body. He doesn't have the meter to catch oh. this out. Extreme Zombie's going to get the punish. And no break right into Ultra in a very, very precarious game one here between these two. Very scary stuff. If that scenario, if he had had the bar to catch that combo out, that would have been Sonic Dolphin's game. But yeah. He just missed that reversal, and he was ready to punish it. Extreme Zombie was on point with the punish. He goes up 1-0 in our loser's finals match here. Yeah, I mean, nerves on both sides, right? Like, obviously, very, very deep in the tournament here. A lot's going on. Top three actions. So easy to miss little confirms and drops like that. So, you know, can't blame him too much. We get into our second game here between these two. Just gonna have to shake it off and keep going. Sonic going up with the zoning with the missiles here. Oh yeah. Missiles out, floats right over though. 
And there's the assist to hook things up. Flies away, baits the DP, gets the link, and it's one of those things too. You can get that jump medium kick, and then afterwards, just get whatever double or linker you want after, so. Oh, the metal ball. He's chasing him down. I mean, Extreme Zombie has not showed. Ooh. I was just going to say that he's willing to shadow counter, and there we see one. Yeah, I just caught the tail end afterwards, too. Oh. That's a nice thing. Empty jump low on that, too. Mix up's pretty dastardly. Has uh, some shadow gauge now for Sonic Dolphin, so a oh. threat, but empty low. A lot of scaling at the start of that combo. Yeah, of course, breaks there. And I think Extreme Zombie's smart not to counter break, just, you know. Oh, my, oh my God. God, what a call out. That Metal Ball will recapture that floating body. And will he have enough to kill here? He's got Dump another catcher. Another ender on this. Not enough, but it hurt. Oh, the body swap. Bodies. I think that's very smart to do here, yeah. Why not? That body is real low here. And you're close to instinct anyway. Oh, what a... Dirty mix-up. He just jumped over him after calling the assist. Sonic Dolphin got mixed there. Mm -hmm. Oh, a dash around start. Maybe not what he wanted. What a catch on the low there. Wasn't enough to get a confirm. Catches that one. Ooh, that was cheating. Just linking oh. with the assist right there. Uh-oh. So cash much out. potential damage to cash out there. Sonic Dolphin trying to make something happen here with his instinct. A little shake up in there. Yeah, just flying away. Pop, jumping medium kick to get rid of it, too. And now if you're a stream zombie, you're just waiting, right? It's the waiting game here. You don't want to get chipped, obviously, the body swap to prevent it. And now Instinct's available for Arya. Sonic Dolphin throwing this metal ball. Yeah, until there's a Shadow Counter available, why not, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Instinct activation. Dash under, goes for the overhead, very smart. That's the lockout, and that's 2-0 for Extreme Zombie, just like that. That was such a comfortable move for him to not only know, hey, I'm going to dash out of this corner, but you're going to be in a situation in this scramble where you're going to want to block, and that's when I'm clipping you with this overhead. Yeah, that overhead was like surgical. It was just a perfect choice. Knew exactly that Sonic Dolphin was going to land in low block and just had that option ready. So what will it be? Character select, it looks like. Sonic does have a couple of choices here. I don't know how he feels about these different matchups. He plays Kim, he plays Arbiter, he plays Kilgore. Yeah. He's got a Glacius. Even though he denies his Glacius, he does have a Glacius. <laughs> we are going to see the Kim, though. Yeah, this is the tried and true. We've seen this so much this tournament, so it makes sense. Although, I, you know, I do worry about some of her control and neutral in this matchup. It's, I think, not great. Although, finds a whiff on a throw there. Oh, that lockout. It seems like that combo got reset, but he gets another one. This body could have been dead if he had built the bar. Oh, yeah. The shadow there, that was definitely a kill. Overhead block correctly. Trade. The Sonic Dolphin with a big lead already. Get that body out of here. We've seen that so many times here from Extreme Zombie. So good in being elusive and hiding the Ooh, bodies away. Tried on that breaker there. And there's the shadow. Mm -hmm. Makes this hard to break. Instinct pop. Very good. The taunt in the middle of the combo from Extreme Zombie. Mm -hmm. Why not? Although, just ready right there. Sonic Dolphin with the shadow counter. Saying, all right, you're getting a little too frisky for your own good. Shadow here is available. Does not spend it. Extreme Zombie trying to put the pressure on here in the corner. Sonic Dolphin staying patient here. He'll take a throw. Yeah. Oh, that overhead is not going to fly with that assist covering Extreme Zombie. A little wall splat ender here too. Throw pretty close to killing, although that was a reset there as well, and that happens a lot against this character. Very tricky stuff. Yeah, she kind of swings her kata. It's called the dragon kata, and it resets combos a lot. So sometimes you could even not even know where it is. Amazing parry and taunts him back. Mm -hmm. it says, all right, taunt me in the middle of the combo. See what happens. One body left, not instinct just yet. Dash cancel under. That oh. was a sick attempt. I kind of like that. And went all in on the counter breaker because why not? You have such a big lead. Just says, okay. Oh, oh, in the oh. shadow. Oh, oh the my taunt. God. Wake up, taunt. Lose your own Oki for the taunt. And then the cancel at the end. One inch punch. Sonic just looked at him like, come on, bro. What he, the? He just what? fist bumped him and said, look, bro, you're going to taunt me on your Oki? Sonic. In tournament, top three of the tournament? That's how you feel? Sonic's like, really, bro? He's like so disappointed in him. He's like, like a disappointed hell? father. Just like, <laughs> what did I teach you about Come Tommy on, to bro. give up Oki? What did I teach you about wake up Tom? Mm -hmm. Punish while landing right there with the crouching medium kick. Wow, what a break on the crescendo. Ready for it. Raw dragon kick. Trying to chase down the back dash there, but Extreme Zombie was able to get the assist off before any kind of pressure happened. I like the counter on the assist there. Very smart from Sonic Dolphin, too. Yeah, again, just says, all right, I'm not dealing with this floating stuff. Just gets the counter, ready for it. Crescendo just out of there. Just says, nope, not dealing with this. DP out. Or Shadow, that's a whip. Wow, what a call out. Perfect punish from Zombie. We're going to see an early instinct pop from Sonic Dolphin. He doesn't wait for Block Stun or anything, and he gets this confirmed. Oh, he's just a little too far, but not this time. 
like that too. Breaker was ready. Dragon kick, a little bit of a miss. Air to air works out. Stuff there. Dragon comes out too. Oh, this is a chance. Shadow. Yeah, of course. Just prevent anything here. Love that. Just immediate. When you have that shadow there with the instinct, it's really hard to deal with in, in terms of breaking. Ooh, what a pro attack. Extreme Zombie. Interesting that he chose to go with this body as it's in chip territory and Sonic Dolphin immediately takes it out. Yeah, I think he's just okay willing to let it die. You know, yeah. I think that's the idea. Just get rid of it so it's not sitting in the back with low health. Oh, I like that. We're seeing more parries on these assists, which is a smart idea, I think, for Sonic Dolphin. Yeah, flips it back, says, all right, I'm going to reverse this right on top of you. No breaker on either of the linkers. Oh, oh my. he breaks the linker that actually blew the combo out there. Mm -hmm. Great reversal there. Kind of juggle situation immediately broken by Extreme Zombie. Yeah, you can see the strengths of it, so it's a little bit easier here. Shadow does break it on the mash breaker. Ooh, bad spot to be. Gonna get some high lows here. Overhead. Oh, fake out low. That was nasty, but didn't get the combo off of it. This pressure is real. The taunt again is getting Extreme Zombie hit here. And it, oh, the lockout. This is on both That bodies, body by might the way. be dead. Yeah, this really hurts. Oh, oh, calls that out. The EX. The shadow right away. Uh oh. There's instinct available for Sonic Dolphin here, too. Air oh to air. God. Really good call out. Catches the back dash. No breaker yet. Doesn't even choose the guess. Wow, the patience from Zombie was so good right there. Double Dragon. The Lincoln breaks it. Oh my god, the throw attempt covered by the assist. And again, with no assist behind it, Sonic Dolphin just backdashes and punishes it. And mm -hmm. this body is basically curtains. That's where we're about to see the best comeback of all time. Yeah, Literally so no help. He's both on chip. Wait, yeah. he's got the shadow. Oh! He's, he's still alive. Say. He's got the float and stuff. Chip damage. Oh, oh man. My. But he did have the meter to shadow counter at the end there, too. So even that was a little scary there for Sonic Dolphin, who brings it back 2-2 two, two here in Losers Finals. I don't think the taunting is working. I, yeah, I'm I right there with you. <laughs> We've seen a direct uh, correlation between taunting and losing. I'm starting to see it, yeah, with getting free punishes and stuff. This is 2-2, two, two, man. It's down to the wire. Ah, winner gets a chance here at Alex. Oh, that was a big drop. Yeah, there it is from Sonic Dolphin this time. Catches the back dash right there, knowing there was some kind of reset and a break. Medium double. Sniped on the anti air. Stream Zombie putting his assist wow. out the perfectly placed Dragon Kick again. Dude, and the geometry what? from Sonic Dolphin <laughs> in this match. What is going on here? That first body is deleted. He, he like circumvented so many of Arya's different approaches in that one situation by throwing the right Dragon Kicks and just doing everything absolutely right. In this angles, game. dude. The angles are out of control. Shadow hits and that's damage on both bodies. Oh, right in there, overhead after, on the cancel. Gets a reset, trying to find a break to the Oh counter my breaker. god, and this is gonna do damage to both bodies as well. Oh, uh -huh. spend the shadow. Look at her just getting deleted. The instinct running out there meant that the blade body took the brunt of the damage there. Sonic fishes for this confirm. Extreme Zombie locks out and leaves him with arguably his worst body to be left alone with, which is base, the zoning body. Oh yeah, and Sonic Dolphin barely scratched. Look at that life bar. Whip cancel, yeah, that's gonna be a punish anyway on the jump medium kick whip. Oh, what are you gonna do here? There's just so little comeback factor with his body. Sonic Dolphin looking for the counter breaker. I don't blame him. I don't and blame him either. And a drop there from Zombie too. There's so much nerves. I mean, we're deep in this tournament. You're down a lot. That's the kill right there with the Ultra. The 3-0 comeback from Sonic Dolphin down 2-0 in losers finals. Man, that was so tough to see. I mean, I feel like. He just adapted so well to everything that Extreme Zombie threw at him, man. On offense, on defense, and neutral. Like you were saying, the geometry with the dragon kicks Unreal. so perfectly. Unreal. Was just sniping every possible angle. A fantastic showing, though, from Extreme Zombie. Going home in third place, of course. Very impressive, despite not making it all the way. And that sets up our grand finals of Killer Instinct. Alex V heading up to the stage against Sonic Dolphin. Oh my god, man. So we got Alex sitting here, and he's, this is his first offline showing, and he's on the winner's side grand finals. I don't know what form of handshake this is. I've never seen this one before. Mm -hmm. We got to take a look at our bracket here. I mean, this is going to be our grand finals. Sonic's going to have to, he's got the long road ahead of him. Right? Oh yeah. He's on the loser side. He's got to reset the bracket. That's what I'm talking about here. Grand finals of Combo Breaker, Alex V. Sonic Dolphin after a long road. Sonic Dolphin all the way in loser's bracket, all the way up to Grand Finals. Alex V coasting, by the way. 3-0 earlier, 3-1 in Winner's Finals. Now just big vibe and chilling here in Grand Finals, Winner's Side.
Yeah, and I'm not so sure about who he's going to go for with this matchup. I mean, I would like to see the Kim, man. The Kim has been doing him well. Yeah, Alex, Kim's his most comfortable character for sure. You can just tell. Yeah, he's so he's so comfortable even when he's out range, he's out space. He's actually won a ton of tough matchups throughout this tournament. Kim has like kind of a questionable matchup spread, but I mean, you make the choices that Sonic Dolphin does. Just make it happen. Get into grand finals against Alex V here. Yeah, that's the kind of player he is. Very, very impressive stuff so far. So I have to see Indy character select already. I imagine just with how good his Kim has looked, I, I don't kind of expect him to try anything different, to be honest with you. Kim has been the yeah. character. I feel like it's the one that just got him back all the way down, you know, 2-0 in Losers Finals, locking in Kim Woo in our grand finals here of Combo Breaker. Kim Woo versus Rash. That matchup we're going to see here, of course. It's going to be a good one. Oh, Alex screaming up there. They're, he's hyping up Sonic Dolphin, man. Yeah, they're hi he's getting I like everybody it. hyped I like here. it. Grand Finals, a combo breaker here for Killer Instinct. We are in. On the stage, ready to go. Pushing Sonic Dolphin into the corner early on here. Getting the empty jump low. He knows that Sonic Dolphin is willing to block. Mm -hmm. And we're in the streets right now. This is how it goes. Side swap right away. Takes the throw reset. Sonic Dolphin looking for the overhead. Doesn't find it. All kinds of pressure early again. Gets the back throw. Alex very, very clammed up here, blocking. No shadow counter there yeah. on that double kick. What a boo. Bro, he he hit him with the wild part of that boo. I don't even know where that was. The tongue? I don't even know. Tongue of the shoe. <laughs> Covered hey. both sides. Nice. No breaker. Gonna spend another shadow here. Great He's damage gonna... on that from Alex B. Wow, Forward dash, dash. Wake up. Yeah, I think he knew he was gonna respect the instinct pop, so. Just says, all right, why not? I'm going to go for it. Plus frames. Finds a counter hit. After finds the lockout. This should be Shadow in the kill. Oh, yeah. That's the life bar for sure. That last kick does so much damage. A clean 40%. Sonic Dolphin hanging on to the end of this instinct here. Recapture. Ooh, and no breaker. Yeah, light, light, light on that. So a miss and a chance there for Alex B, who still has instinct, by the way, and none for Sonic Dolphin. Oh, God. This is going to be a scary interaction. Yeah, the card. Oh, guess the strength of that battering ram. This is such a guessing game here in the combo game. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be another card for Oki here, which just walks all the way back. Wrecking Ball in, tries to anti-air, gets stuffed. And that was high KV on that also, just on a really short combo. Ooh, jump oh, jump in. Challenge. This is big Ooh, side swap now. Sonic Dolphin, chance to start working on this offense here. There is that shadow boot. Very smart reversal from Alex to just try to not take any of that pressure there. Some people like to hang on to meter. Alex is like, dump it. Oh my god. Super strange interaction there with the dragon. Sonic breaks that. That was not straight into ultra. Oh we see it again. Bro, he's cheating. Kim Wu is flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the dragon kick immediate dash cancel. We're seeing it. Uh oh, waiting there, buffering. Does have Shadow of Boot available, so you have to be careful about the approach. Oh the my break. god. Both times Sonic Dolphin trying to find a break. And look at the patience, the defense there from Alex V to let it rip at the last second. One game up, and he is vibing up there. He is amped up, man. Yeah, he's about to sleep for a week after this. <laughs> he tournament. really I'm is. Telling you. Oh, Kilgore thinking about the swap already. Tried this in the last set. Didn't work out, but this is a new character. New matchup you got to deal with here. Yeah, I'm not so sure about how this matchup goes, if I'm being honest. It's so rare that you see Kilgore being played, but I'm wondering if it's going to allow him to create some space in ways that Kim Woo couldn't. And, yeah. I mean, he is going to get access to a more traditional reversal in Kilgore, so it's possible that he's just going to be able to, even if it's just to get Alex to think twice about his pressure, it's going to oh, be yeah. a huge advantage for Sonic Dolphin. And you got that big one chance damage, obviously, too, as a threat. And Kim is, you know, a little bit more slow and steady, kind of stable character, right? And so Kilgore offering a different look here. We'll have to see. Yeah, you can see, I already see, you know, having full screen options like this is a bit more control. Stuffs out, multi-hitting there, just beats the Wrecking Ball. We're going to see how Alex tries to traverse this. He's very creative at getting in. Sonic Dolphin seems like he's ready for it. He's using a metal ball. Oh, oh my, my god, what a cross up. That was cheating. That was definitely cheating. Really hard angle to snag right there. And those guns, nice and hot, although it's gone away now. Ooh, scary that jump and almost worked. Patience there from Sonic Dolphin. And that's huge. Didn't fight on the counter breaker. Oh, he's going to pick a little damage off of that OTG. I like that. Yeah, a little damage. Played it pretty safe in terms of what he chose to do. I like that. Juggle off this. Yeah, nice. Sonic is out. so ready to shut down this Wrecking Ball. We're going to see what this Instinct sequence looks like here. Mm -hmm. And the trade worked out okay for Sonic Dolphin, even though the uh, cart was there to try to get out. Dude. Oh, the 
Oh, Mike saved him from the recapture combo. Yeah, the middle ball. I love it. The trades are great for Sonic Dolphin. It's a bit of a fiesta, but he'll take it. No break attempt there from Sonic. Oh, okay, nice. He, yeah, Alex has been setting the pace there with that heavy Cossack, and I'm wondering if he's going to try to oh, counter break nice. that later in the set. That was a great little bait there from Alex V. DP whiffs, and yeah, no breaker on this one, even though he broke the last one. DP are not. Wow, dash the, the forward throw. dash again. It says, why not? I know that you're thinking I'm going to reversal or something. I'm on chip life. Uh oh, gets the sweep. Missiles are out. Catches the back dash as well. Missiles again. There's no shadow reversal here for Alex V. Look at the pressure from Sonic Dolphin, though. He's so good at throwing out those confirms. He knows that he's plus. He's just fishing for the hit. He knows he's got this life lead, and he's so good at shutting down this approach from Alex V. He salutes him in the neutral. I salute you. Taunts back and forth here, shoots the missiles, and it catches the wrecking ball. And Sonic Dolphin doesn't really need to do anything here. You know, just has a huge lead. It's just vibing. Very content with what he's doing. Yeah, that's a big hit too. Counter what a counter like breaker! That. And with Shadow, easy peasy kill here. Into Sonic Ultra. Dolphin right into Ultra for one game on the board. Damn. <laughs> Having a conversation up there. I'm I'm so curious as to what Sonic said to him. It's like, you know when you taunt it and I taunt it, and then if, I, if somebody taunts against me, I win. And then I won the match, yeah. Were you watching the last match of the stream, Zombie? He's like, did you see what happened when yeah. the last person taunted me? Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. But the Kilgore is, he's doing so much better of a job where, like, it's not so much that he's dealing with it better when Alex is in, which, I mean, he is, but it's like Alex is having so much harder of a time to get in. And Alex, as much as he's really creative with his approach, he's really kind of stalling Alex and making him have to hesitate on incoming. And that's going to be a huge strength to Sonic in this match. Ooh, wrecking Ball in. Gets stuffed again. The nice thing about those uh, those zoning normals is that they hit multiple times, right? So mm -hmm. hit, hit, hit whatever version of Heavy Punch you want. Get some shots out there. You're easy peasy, you know? And that Metal Ball being blocked, not only does Alex not have the meter to Shadow Counter, it's building Sonic a ton of meter in the process as well. Yeah. It's really annoying to deal with, for sure. Shadow Missiles, a little bit more zoning. And again, just breaking the uh, armor on the Wrecking Ball. Yeah, the Wrecking Ball's not happening. He shuts down the diagonal Wicked Tongue. Yeah, struggling. Although, eats the Missiles right there for a bit of bar. Throwing out some jabs, maybe trying to bait some things. Oh, DP Whip, this is a big chance. Heavy Linker broken again by Sonic Dolphin. Last time didn't break it, and there was a counter break attempt. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's definitely become a mind game at this point. Another DP whip from Sonic Dolphin and a big punish from Alex V. Yeah, and there's a lockout too, so you get another ender here. Right at the end of that KV bar. Wutong for the combo. Yeah, you can extend again here. Has Shadow. Doesn't spend it though. Sonic Dolphin dash. Okay, this is big. That DP into Instinct. Oh, he actually ate one of the bullets. It's yeah. hilarious. It's a Hungry Toad right there. A little bit of damage on that. Yeah, it's only 6%. The missiles all over the screen. Alex just tries to avoid blocking anything, but what do you do? I know. Look at all that potential life just adding up there. Sonic Dolphin just trying to take all this chip, potential life, shooting the missiles, runs in, and there's no more heat though, so gotta build it back up. Oh, oh my DP. god, what an anti air perfectly placed. He chose the right strand. Oh, he doesn't get to pick the combo up off of it. Oh yeah, but Shadow Boot again, so he's off all of his meter to get the kill there. Which is a big deal. Losing two bars like that can really matter. Very much so. Oh my god. And the salute? Mm -hmm. Immediate salute with his burning arms. You have to. After a sequence like that, that was a very necessary one. He's throwing these jabs to try to bait things out of Alex V. And he's so good at clipping him out of the air every time he jumps. Oh yeah, these missiles too are being great for zoning. Even though the arms are hot, that's where the missiles come in. And you can start using Metal Ball while Walk Back Light Kick works out. Oh, oh god, that's a huge whiff. Again. Yeah, look at the damage on this too, 30% dash the forward up. dash we're seeing so many times when Sonic Dolphin has instinct, that's the option that he represents on defense. Oh yeah, and now we're going to get missiles, going to try to get some potential life, and then we're going to metal ball in probably pretty soon, I'm guessing. Yeah, taking some chip. This is really going to start to add up. It's, it's a little bit at a time, but again, you're, yeah, you're burning there. Look at the potential life too. This is big now. Sonic Dolphin just needs one hit, and a cash out could be huge. And if you get caught with Shadow Metal Ball or something like that, that could be a one chance into cash out. Or, I mean, if your health's low enough, it's just danger into Ultra. Yeah, exactly, which that light bar started to come back. The arms are still hot, so the guns are not as scary here. They don't go as far. Eats the missiles on the way. 
And Alex was really good at staying patient there and waiting out that potential damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's big. The DP. It's going to be the jungle here right into Ultra. Perfectly calculated there from Sonic Dolphin. Goes up 2-1 in the set just like that. Somebody on the stage like, yo, man, I really think you shouldn't have taunted him, bro. I don't know how to break it to you. Is there a coaching rule here? What's going on? I don't know. Sonic, looks like, he's, up to the Son stage. Sonic looks like he's not very happy that uh, Roman is up there coaching. Where's he looks, the T.O. to dropkick he looks, somebody he looks, off he the stage? He looks pissed. <laughs> he looks pretty mad. I want to see a running dropkick right now. Yeah. It's time. Especially because, I mean, Sonic's on the verge of a reset here, man. 2-1, mm -hmm. like just like that. He's got going on. He doesn't have a coach on his side. I don't know if there's an official ruling. I want to see a flying dropkick. Get him, like, an assist. Yeah, handle that. Oh god, that's a big start. Jumps in right away, boots for the juggles, and breaks the heavy. You can juggle with all three boots, so, you know, gotta think about which one it's gonna be. Getting a wall splat here, trying to set up the lockout. Oh, risk on the DP. He's been doing that a lot, though, to be fair. Instinct available. Yeah, just wakes up. Logan says, all right, you're not gonna go for a DP here. Side swap. Pressure is on here. Alex doesn't have a reason to do much here. He could wait this instinct out. Take a little bit of chip. Trying to build up some potential life. Get some of this life lead back from this instinct. And as this instinct ends here, Kilgore is going to cool down and he's going to get his normal gun range back. Nice exhaust cancel to blow up that battering ram with his reversal. Mm -hmm. And I think a pretty good trade there for Sonic Dolphin actually. Could have been way worse. Man, beat the batter or the uh, wrecking ball again. Oh, he interrupted that missile attempt. That was very not real. Uh-oh. One chance here. Wow, he guesses right. Sonic Dolphin had some clutch breaks here. Ooh, a little bit of missile zoning. Nothing too credible, though. Alex be willing to just wait this out. Especially because he knows that the arms are heated up. He knows that the chain gun only goes so far. Now yeah. he's back to the normal temperature, and these are going to go full screen. <laughs> he's moving the reticle around. Mm-hmm. I like it. I think that it's smart. Sonic Dolphin knows that this little bit of uh, chip and extra life is going to matter. Yeah, he's going to end up forcing Alex's hand at some point in time. The chip will start to become a factor, and there's not a lot that Alex can do from that range. Yeah, he eats it. Okay. So, yeah, see? Getting that little bit of damage. Some potential life up there. 50 seconds still on the clock. Playing it slow and steady as Alex V. Not feeling forced to do anything just yet. He's got instinct, too, so he can just wait for any moment. Pop instinct, get the chip. I wonder if Alex will try to make a move now. Yep, here yeah, he comes time. in. Jump back on. Obviously, Alex respects Ooh. it. Chip is a factor here. Oh what? my nice god, whiff what punish. a whiff punish on that metal ball. All right, Sonic Dolphin down to the last life bar here in this game. Do we see a pick up the pace maybe here? That's what I'm curious about. Or is he just content to keep up the zoning? A lot of missiles on this. Just It's so tense. Like Alex V just needs one chance to get in here. We see the shadow. No, just DP is right through, and the break was perfect. Oh my god, the explosion causing this scramble in the corner, and Alex punishes the reversal with this magic pixel. This instinct is running out. So unfortunate that he didn't get chipped out. I think that's what Sonic Dolphin was looking for, and a break on the throw. He just still wants the chip oh, overhead. What a break on the heavies. The Metal Ball whips again. That spacing from Alex V to punish Metal Ball on whiff has been incredible. Yeah, he's trying to make something happen. Wow, he just dashes up, finally gets it, but... Sonic Dolphin has lost so much life in this game. We're seeing so much wake up forward dash from Sonic Dolphin that's like tactical. It's like working out for him. It really is. Yeah, and we see that he's respecting it. Uh-oh. Scary spot now in danger. One hit will do it. Pops the instinct. What do we got here? Or pops the uh, exhaust rather. What do you got here? It's got to be something oh. to shadow boot for the kill, even with the missile. I wonder if he was looking for a throw there when he attempted that back dash. I think that's what he was trying to scout from Alex. And I mean, when you don't have that much health to play with, you got to make decisions like that. Yeah, Shadow Boots chip is just really scary right there. Wow, two apiece here. Reset point or champion. Oh my God! For the big counter breaker right in the beginning here for Alex V. That's a great way to start a match. Oh my God, wake up forward jump from Sonic Dolphin trying to get out of the corner. Alex V was scouting that reversal. Yeah, Alex has been respecting on wake up so much that Sonic Dolphin says, fine, I'll just jump, I'll dash, I'll do whatever I need to do. And to be fair, it's worked out for both of them in, in their own ways. So, you know, both are fine options. Big fade on the DP now. Is there another counter breaker? No, jab into Wrecking Ball Ender. A little dance on him, very close here, DP. Getting him to block this, just trying to get his reversal to start his own pressure here. 
I'm gonna get a little recapture. I wonder if he's gonna go for a missile setup off of this when he's done with this combo. Uh-huh, just take all this extra damage. Huge 42%. Got a couple of uh, Enders in there, which is really nice. One thing that Kilgore is super good at. The tongue placing. Really big crashing medium kick hits. No breaker now. Big Very damage close to killing. Ender. And the jab on that. Look at this Sonic Dolphin. Ahead looking to reset the bracket. The jump in hits. And a break on the heavy linker. Oh my god. These uppercuts are so well placed. Mm -hmm. Alex V sitting on his instinct. He's trying to get something Dude. started, but Alex is, I mean, Sonic Dolphin is just shutting this down. The He's damage is adding up, too. Shadow for the chip. Yeah, you know, if you're Sonic Dolphin, you're okay with that. Came off of a bar. Oh my Ooh. god, that standing medium punch anti here. Gotta be a shadow here. Or let the cart hit. Yeah, love that. The hurt box got pulled back. The dance into the cart, into the manual after he was ready for it. Shadow. Ender here, Sonic Dolphin losing a lot of life. Wake up, Metal Ball from Sonic. It was such a short combo though, didn't get very much damage off it, even though Alex locked out. Oh God, this is scary now, the zoning a little bit. Sonic Dolphin looked so close to Instinct too. He is, and Alex is definitely not gonna get another Instinct in this match, oh so he's gonna God. have to work with what he has. He's getting blasted by the missiles here. It's a really bad spot, oh, oh. makes a chance in. The mix-up works too, this is a one chance opportunity. Sonic Dolphin not gonna break because the Instinct's there, right? Just gonna wait. Oh god, it's scary to wait there, though. Now in danger. The yes, forward right. dash again from Sonic Dolphin! The juggle, it's gonna be the shadow for the kill. That's a reset, just like that. Oh my Sonic god. Sonic Dolphin resetting 3 2 in this grand final. Sonic Dolphin, this entire set has been so good, like you said before, about recognizing when Alex is respecting his neutral, and he just takes that respect and runs wild with it. He's been waking up forward jump, waking up forward dash. We've seen it from about six or seven times from him. He woke up Shadow Metal Ball a couple of times. Yeah, imagine being in danger and just waking up dash. <laughs> like, you have to be so brave to do that, but, you know, Sonic Dolphin just knows. He's like, all right, you're, not gonna re you're gonna respect the instinct, and I'm just gonna take that chance, dash forward, do whatever I wanna do. Especially when he does have instinct, you're right, because, I mean, if you block his Kilgore's DP comes out and then up, and it's yes. really easy to make somebody block it and then take plus frames off of that. Yeah, that is something that's really strong. And also, you think it's a dash sometimes, you know? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like one. A dash. Very, very similar. That's a good point. Oh god, Wrecking Ball gets blasted again. Sonic Dolphin with the, the heat early looking for the Metal Ball. Yeah, and just DPs right out. Oh my god! What counter -break. a counterbreaker! That's huge. Yeah, just calling out the early break attempt on the juggle. Look at the damage on this. 50% saves a bar too. Sonic Dolphin big chilling with the lead. Beating the Wrecking Ball with the multi-hits. Chance now for Alex makes it in. He's gonna pop that heavy auto double. He's gonna get these bikes out and these are gonna be some very hard to breakables. Sonic Dolphin not even gonna attempt it. He's yeah. just gonna take the damage that comes with it. Oh my, he got a combo off the trade. DP in the cart. Awkward break. That actually seemed like it put Alex way further back than normal. I wonder oh. if that had something to do with the bike. Unfortunately, it didn't get the shadow juggle there. Oh, yeah. The, the DP into the juggle would have been great for him, but unfortunately missed it. Sonic Dolphin now still has instinct to cook with here. Oh, the flip out and Sonic was ready. He's getting off me, bro. Uh-huh. Says, all right, you're going to go to the other side. No problem. DP ready. Sonic Dolphin back to shooting. Doesn't have the heat, so the bullets go far. Yep. He's also so content with throwing out Metal Ball just to switch sides sometimes with Alex in these situations. Yeah. He just wants to swap sides with him and take his space. Ooh, backdash. Resetting the space there. Jump back guns. See a Metal Ball or something in the mid-range Yeah, he, yep, good call. Tried it. DP's again. You know, he's been so active on defense, but also, like, you know, patient. It's been a mix of both, and it's hard to deal with for Alex. The instinct pop to get the plus rooms. No one home in that confirm there. Just trying to create this space and play this game that he was playing before. Yeah, the zoning. Wrecking ball over the missiles. Jump back in the corner. Heat's building up. Yeah, exhaust. Okay. That's the throw. Not a back throw, though. But he metal balls right out of there. Yeah, just leaves, man. He's so good at using that metal ball to make this a war of attrition. Oh, I like the shadow right through. Yep. And just takes the immediate ender, even though it doesn't matter. It's going to be the kill. Uh-oh, scary lockout here. Chance now for Alex. Has the corner, has instinct. Look, he's back forward all the way dash out. again, man. Yeah, he gave up the whole space right there, and Sonic Dolphin just taking advantage. DP oh is my through. God. Shadow ball for the capture. And of course the lockout after two. Oh, he's oh. trying to the metal ball on the other side. It's a whiff, and that's a whiff punish. That was a great catch there from Alex V. Scouted out that metal ball. Sonic is sitting on an instinct. This isn't going to be enough to kill. Wow, what a break, too. Yeah, and you know he's just going to pop the instinct. He sees it right there. Goes for the DP. Although the trade, it was a little weird there. Oh! oh. The dash. He's going to have to guess. He breaks the medium linker. This is huge. 
Oh my, the zoning got a little bit of the juggle right there. He what a be. reversal, but he has nothing to go off of. What will Sonic Dolphin do here? Bolden chip. Oh, the Shadow game. Metal Ball! It's for the recap and a game for Sonic Dolphin in the reset. Oh my god, the Metal Ball out of nowhere. Recapping, giving that ultra. So Alex. officially in the lead for Sonic Dolphin. Alex has been so much smarter about the way that he's been approaching to and dealing with the way that Sonic uses these unor unorthodox moves from this character. Like, he's been dealing with the Metal Ball so much better. He's been actually getting punishes on things. I mean, like, other than I think that he might be giving Sonic a little bit too much space in yeah. reversal situations. He might be scouting those things out a little bit too much. That's just a read, right? And But the minute you don't, he just DPs. So of course, it's yeah. a really tough spot to be, and Sonic Dolphin's just making all the right decisions on defense. Oh my god, he almost got to confirm straight off of that Wicked Tongue attempt. Mm -hmm. All lights there. Doesn't quite reach the wall, even though Wrecking Ball goes real far. Stunning. Tagging again, the missiles connect. Didn't get the uh, manual attempt that he tried there. Boots. And he breaks the medium boot, too. What a throw tech there. Oh my, the zoning from Sonic Dolphin has been very effective, too. It's a little bit of damage on each of the hits, but he's really shutting down all the approach options so far. Yeah, the multi-hit is busting up the armor from the Wrecking Ball, and it's just shutting down everything that Alex does, especially when he's heated up. Those missiles explode a little bit wider, and it makes it harder to clear. Uh-huh, dude. Oh, I like the attack. Oh. It didn't work out. What a block on the overhead, though, by the way. Shadow uh, Metal Ball to try to get that anti-air. Yeah, that jumping medium kick just looks like it stuffed oh. it, but I do love the attempt. No he went right through way. that bike. Oh, but it missed! And that's going to be a Shadow. Oh, oh. get the juggle. Getting scrambly here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Caught the back dash, and there's the lockout. Going to be the juggle. Easy peasy there. Sonic Dolphin up a game, up a life bar here. Over Alex, who he looked unstoppable in our winner's finals, looked unstoppable in the winner's semis. He really does. Oh my god, he actually got that cross of that jumping light kick. You so very rarely see that. Mm, bro broke the sweep there too, was ready on the heavies. Very impressive, another break. Sending a message, I'm willing to break these, even though things are looking a little dire. That time doesn't break, and Sonic Dolphin not the turn. Throwing missiles out here. He knows that he has a life lead. That exhaust oh, is going to keep him safe from Shadow Battering Ram. That's not going to work out for Alex. And he's just out of there. Just the, the zoning and the patience, all the smart decisions from Sonic Dolphin so far. Alex, we got to find a way to get in there and make it happen. A breaker again on the standing heavy kick. Oh my god, what an uppercut. He's going to make the most out of this juggle. He doesn't have meter. Very tricky stuff there to go for that little throw setup. Yeah, I like that a lot. Just whiffs and then takes the throw right after. It looked like it was going to be part of the combo. And now, one hit will do it. Now, Alex being in trouble, in danger. Shadow Rockets with a chip. Look at the life. He's in such a bad spot. Yeah, this and is that's it, chip the at chip already. Point. Sonic Dolphin now up 2-0, trying to become your combo breaker champion. I mean, at this point in time, like we said before, Sonic Dolphin has been in this top three of Combo Breakers so many times. He's been in the Grand Finals of the Killer Instinct World Cup, but he hasn't gotten that big victory yet. But this might be the time that we see it. We're on tournament point here for Sonic Dolphin. Oh, and for a little tricky cross up there with the missiles too. Into the corner. Man, his delay button timing has been so good on situations like that. Takes a side swap with the ball. Challenge there. Alex B doesn't get a confirm, but gets the tongue for the juggle and a breaker on the heavy boot. He's been, he's watching. He knows what size those Tims are. Oh, he definitely does. He knew that that was the heavy strength. He can kind of just tell by the way that Alex is moving forward with the kick. Mm. Oh, try to dash under there. Wow, win for it. And that's a big punish starter. Dolphin is ready. He's in full control at the moment. Oh, yeah. And these breaks. Alex has been confident. Wow, that was a great whip punish on the back heavy punch, too. I think Sonic probably would have exhaust canceled that, but it happened so fast. I mean, like that battering ram came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Good damage on this, too. Gets positioning. Walks back on. Again, he's just respecting so much on, on Wake Up. I don't blame him, though. Sonic Dolphin has let the DP rip so many times, but... Oh, tongue all the way over. Cart's in. Instinct about to run out now, so chance for Sonic Dolphin. We didn't see a breaker there from Alex. Oh DP my again. goodness. That's the thing. He, he, look, you know, I know a lot of people are like, why isn't he just pressing? But look, the DP again, he lets it rip, and Sonic Dolphin knows. It's his timing and his sense of what's going on in the match. He's just making all the right choices. It just seems like his reversals are psychic because he's so aware of everything that's happening in this match. Mm -hmm. Man, he's right on those Tims once again. The breaker is good. He There's actually got an heavies. auto double off of that. Yeah, that was wild. He just like vacuumed all the way in, exhaust cancel, right away out of there on the metal ball. Oh, that's, oh, didn't hit a button after those. Maybe respecting Shadow. Sniping him out of the air here with his machine guns. 
He's yeah. got, oh, he's going to use that meter to get the missiles out there as oh, opposed to going throw. for the exhaust cancel. Is there a counterbreaker here? That's the scary thing. No, just gets the level four ender. Alex V running out of life here. It could be a 3-0 in our grand finals. Oh, what a battering rim from Alex. He's going to get something started here in the corner. And I definitely don't blame Sonic for trying to lock out on there. Alex ends the life bar early so he could conserve as much instinct as possible for this life bar coming up to try to make this comeback. Oh, right through on the oh shot. Oh, my That's God. Gonna your combo breaker, killer instinct champion, Sonic Dolphin with the 3-0 after resetting the bracket. Incredible performance. And he's just sitting there like, damn, I really did it. I'm really the champ after that. That is wild. He's like, hey, what happened? Is that three? Is that what? what's even going on up there? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but Sonic Dolphin has done it. I don't yeah. even think he knows. We were watching. You're the winner. Bro, you won the tournament. <laughs> you won the tournament. You won the tournament. You won the tournament, buddy. You're combo breaker <laughs> His champion. His face is like, wait. I You're the combo breaker that. champion. Look at you. Big stretch. <laughs> Congratulations to Sonic Dolphin. He's like, wait, I'm the I'm the champ? He is, yeah. I won the tournament after many attempts in the top three, as you mentioned. Sonic Dolphin cleans it up. 3-0 here in the finals. He didn't even know the score. He's like, wait, what? Nah, he what? was so locked What's into happening? what he was doing in that match, he didn't even know how many he had left, man. Yeah, that's how you know. Like you're just in the zone. You're like, wait, what's happening here? I'm I'm I won. But he's telling the whole crowd, like, why are you guys standing up? Like, everybody seems either. really excited. Calm down. We got yeah, another can one you to go sit here. down. <laughs> everybody, everybody, take it easy. Let me cook, all right? Let me cook. Yeah, quick. please. Easy peasy. Man, maybe that even helped with his nerves. He didn't know he was on tournament center and yeah, he was just playing so well. That might have that might have been to his advantage there that he actually didn't know that he was about to be a combo breaker champion right then and there. Yeah. But he finally takes it home. Yeah, we're gonna have all of our top eight competitors up onto the stage to celebrate them. Of course, very well played by all of them here at Combo Breaker. Always fun to watch KI. An impressive performance from Sonic Dolphin, dude. I mean, Alex V was looking unstoppable, and he had so much momentum. And just that switch to Kilgore really shut things down. It's like Sonic Dolphin's play style in general is so reactive and defensive to other players that it just, you can see how no-nonsense he really is. You yeah. see this stuff fly against the other players in the tournament, and then he's like, oh, yeah, you're not, you're not doing that, bro. Yeah, I'm not just, letting that fly He shuts here. everything down. The neutral was fully controlled by him. Just extremely impressive play top to bottom there. And I have to say, you know, I thought it was Alex B's time. I was like, this is it. Like, he's going to be the champ, looking really solid on that. I mean, we had our game five in the first set, but he cleaned things up very nicely. It's possible that that's just what it comes down to sometimes, because as strong as Alex V is, as strong as as powerful as he's been throughout the years playing in these online tournaments and stuff mm -hmm. like that, it takes a different caliber of player, possibly, who's just so used to the offline stuff. Sonic Dolphin, he's no stranger to the stage. He played on it every year. Yeah, and it's impressive too because our top three had both uh, Alex V and Extreme Zombie, yeah. right? Both of them played very well. Very well. Very impressed by both of their performances. Yeah, they did uh, excellent up there. We're getting everybody lined up on the stage, of course, to hand out medals. Everybody gets their fancy medal here at Combo Breaker. And of course, our championship to Sonic Dolphin, who cleaned things up there at the end. Impressive stuff, though, from Alex V, I have to say. You know, both him and Zombie to show up at an offline event and do this, very impressive. Yeah, really, it, like you said earlier, it speaks to what this netcode is. Yeah, looks like we're ready to go. We're ready to give out our medals here. They're getting up on the stage. Everybody in top eight gets a medal here. No uh, no top six. Got to wait till Evo. All right, everybody. Can you please make some noise for our top eight finalists here? Seventh place, Raven is raw. We got also in seventh place here. We got absolute zero. Premier offline top eight. Mm -hmm. Impressive stuff. Played super, super well. No stranger to offline. Fifth place, we have base. Make some noise for base, everybody. Yeah, come on, guys. That's the man right there. And we got the Conrad God. Shout out to Hollywood himself. This is It's Time to Duel. In it's fourth. time to do 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 Exactly. You know. With, with that sweater vest. In fourth place here. A very impressive showing, of course. We have Nikki. Yeah. And we got his first offline placement for the rank God himself. Very defensive, Arya. Super awesome style. Extreme zombie. And the person bringing all the energy, all top eight long. Can we make some noise, everybody, for Alex V? Yeah. And after many a top three at these offline scenarios, your combo breaker champion, Sonic Dolphin. Yeah.
at that trophy. Put that around. 180 it down. Hold that thing up. Combo Breaker 2023 Killer Instinct Champion. Can we make one more round of applause for all of our top eight competitors? Extremely impressive as always, and congrats to everybody who made top eight. It's always a blast to watch KI. It's one of the most fun games to watch ever. I always have a blast. Thanks to you, Charbok, for joining me. It was yeah, I had such a to be fun time, eight. man. It was awesome to get to watch this. So thanks to all of our competitors showing up. Thanks to everybody who's watching here, both in the venue and at home. We appreciate all of you. And of course, we'll be here next year. I'm sure there'll be KI here at Combo Breaker each and every year. Appreciate you joining me. Appreciate everybody at home and joining me. And we'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one, guys.